All right, well, hopefully this is working. Uh, if not, shit. Well, let's see if I can get this up and running. Okay, looks like I've just got to wait for it to catch up to YouTube. Why is this not starting? Oh shit, it's live. All right, oh, never mind, I'm fucking retarded. I uh, thought it was not streaming. Apparently, <clears throat> apparently it is. I am a fucking moron. Uh, welcome to the uh, second live stream. Hopefully this one will go better than the first, which was just fucking terrible because uh, that chat went by a little too fast. So I set it up with uh, Twitter. If you want to ask something, the chances of getting it answered are better on Twitter uh, than they're going to be in the chat stream. That's just my guess. I don't know if you want to ask something or not. Totally up to you. But uh, hopefully this one will go better. All right, let's see. Ah, oh, shit, is this even coming through? Okay, fuck, awesome. All right, it is going through. If I can get this address here. Oh shit, how am I going to do this? Eh, it won't let me fucking play it, will it? Uh, I'm going to try to uh, post the Twitter link, I guess. Uh, and that's going to just shoot right by, I'm sure. Fuck. Sorry, it's going to take me a second to get everything set up so it's not complete shit. Alright, cool, here we go. I think we're good now. So I'm just going to read through the shit people have been asking. And we'll talk about some stuff. You guys can pick. We'll uh, we'll check that fucking collective privilege together. So let's see what we got. A lot of people asking where it's going to be. Hopefully they figured that out. Otherwise, uh, that's going to suck. It's not not on UStream. I could not get UStream to work. I tried UProducer for like an hour. Could not get the audio to come through. Could barely get the video to play. The frame rate was fucking abysmal. It was a disaster. Wanted to try Twitch? That's not going to fucking happen either. Because, god damn, is that a pain in the ass. And I, I don't feel like shelling out $40 for some device that's going to let me uh, show my tits and play World of Warcraft and hope for donations from men named Ahmad. Because that's kind of what Twitch is for. Uh, Alright, we got one here from Joseph A. or Bloodmuffin643, I guess. Uh, will you ever do a Tumblrisms video on other Ken? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I actually kind of plan to do that. Uh, back after the fourth one, when I put up the little um, the poll for people to vote in to decide whatever they wanted next, I guess I was going to. Uh, I'd originally planned to do other Ken, but then I opened it up. But yeah, it, it's in it's in the planning stage, I guess. Uh, but it's something I'll probably end up doing. Somebody's linking to something. What is this? Oh, the Fatitude documentary. Uh, yeah, that's that's great. How much did they collect all together? $41,000. How fucking ridiculous. Seven days to go. She got $41,000 to make a video about being a fat fuck and eating McDonald's and driving a rascal scooter and probably clapping because she's American. Because God knows our women are fat. $41,000. Fucking unbelievable. That's uh, that's great. Good going Kickstarter community. Always, Always backing the winners, aren't you? <laughs> Everything you put your money towards really turns into fucking diamonds, doesn't it? Oh, let's see. What do we got? Uh, these live streams suck. Oh, thank you. Positive reinforcement's very good. Works That works wonderfully. It's good stuff. Where's the stream happening again? Uh, Senpai notice me? I notice you. Uh, Def tree? D-E-F-E-T-R-Y? I have, or I? I have no fucking idea. Favorite video game of all time? Um, I don't know, man. You can't ask somebody something like that because you're putting me on the spot. I'm going to forget every other good game. I'm going to focus on one and then feel like an asshole uh, 10 minutes from now when I answer. And it, you know, and it comes back to me that, holy shit, what am I talking about? I, I didn't, didn't list my favorite game. I don't know. There are a lot of good ones out there, uh, mostly PS1 and PS2 era for me. 
uh, some good Saturn games. Every system's had good games. It's hard again. It's hard to pick a fucking favorite. You know, I can't even imagine narrowing it down. I'm sorry, man. I probably answered something on Ask FM. Somebody asked, and I probably gave them an answer. And I think I answered on the last live stream too. But for the life of me, I cannot. Uh, I cannot just pick a favorite. I just can't do it. I guess. Uh, do you think that medium providers, ISPs, telephone, cable, etc., should be allowed to have media assets? Um, <laughs> I, I don't even know how to answer that. That's Eric Lorenzo or Morality124. Um, I have no answer. I'm fucking blanking. I'm sorry. It's a favorite video game question. What you know? Like I'm stuck on that now. I can't. I can't get over it. Thank you, CJ Aristocrat, for fucking me with that question. It was good. Good. Oh, uh, what do you think of the idea of hate speech from Based God Puff? Um, I think it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, like, what you classify as hate speech is so completely subjective. If you have the idea that everybody has free speech, that's going to include offensive speech, which you know some people would view as hate speech. But this idea that we're going to classify certain words or attitudes or beliefs or ideas and say that you can't do that—that's a, a step too far. Is just it's offensive to me. Right, because I, I just I see it as an assault on free speech. I don't like it. I think it's a lot of people just getting emotionally upset about shit and looking to <clears throat> lash out at it by classifying it as something and making it into like a boogeyman. Like you can't say hate speech three times or something's gonna pop out of the bathroom mirror and strangle your ass. Uh, so that's that's what I think of that. Uh, do you believe that some form of modern and or third wave feminism can be used to do some sort of good in society? Uh, not in America. <laughs> Like the Western world, what are they going to accomplish? You, you've got this idea of feminism of equality, and we don't want women to be abused or you know uh, mistreated, and we want them to be equal under the law and everything else. I think in the Western world that's accomplished. I don't think that's something that you would have to uh, that you would have to. Um, do. Yeah, it, it would have to be in the Middle East. It would have to be in Africa or somewhere like that. It's feminism doesn't have a place in modern Western society. Everything they initially claim to want to accomplish is fucking done with. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure <laughs> what to say in regards to that. Uh, let's see. Uh, please comment on this video regarding you being called out for harassment. All right. Let's see what video this is. Oh, this is that one from uh, Jerry Pete. Harassment, stalking, and cyberbullying. Eh. I, I mean, yeah, I, I saw it, actually. Somebody linked it before, but I don't really have anything to say. I mean, that's his opinion. He can say whatever the fuck he wants. He was wrong, though. I think, was this the one who said it? Yeah, this was the one that said I made um, ad revenue from playing, like, advertisements on uh, my videos and shit like that, but I don't. I, I don't have any ads. I don't monetize anything. I don't have a donate button, so I don't know where he got that from, but I think he, yeah, he added something in the description saying he was wrong about that. But yeah, I, I don't really care. I, I saw it. It didn't really have an impact. Uh, let's see. Okay, be nice if you could tweet. One, which is oh, uh, sorry. I tried tweeting saying this was where it was going to be, but whatever. Uh, we ever do a Tumblr? Wait, am I going backwards? Holy shit! Oh, here's a good one. Uh, how well does the JIDF pay? Uh, they pay fucking fantastic. They pay in gold. Lots of gold teeth. I don't understand where that came from. They've had, they had a vault full of them. Something about uh, Germany in the 40s, I don't know. But no, uh, they pay fantastic. Yeah, I've bought a new yacht, and I've got a Ferrari. Uh, lots of money. Lots of good stuff. They pay good. A favorite RPG of all time? Uh, again, that's how the fuck am I going to answer that? I, I like a lot of different RPGs. I can't really narrow it down. Stuff like Xenogears or yeah, God, there's so many. It's I, I can't narrow it down. Um, so if it's a male culture or if it's men's culture to oppress women, isn't feminism culturally or cultural appropriation? Oh, why? Because they want to oppress men? Yeah, that's I, I guess that's true. Uh, that fucking cultural appropriation. What are you gonna do? Oh, let's see. Is it wrong to cry about free content? Is rock star sexist? Are clothes serious business? What the fuck is this link go to? Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Escapist forums, Rockstar totally ignores female gamers, and GTAO high life update. 
And it's a lot of fucking words in this post. So high life update to GTAO. I'm officially done with it until they start to acknowledge that women play games. Uh, until they... Alright, what the fuck is she upset about? Panties and stockings. Release new clothing. So wait, I'm sorry, is this person upset because of a fucking cosmetic DLC? She's upset because chicks got slutty clothing and... What the fuck is she upset about? Favorite sex. I have no idea. I have no idea. What was the fucking original question? Is it wrong to cry about free... It was free, too? The DLC was free that she's bitching about? There's no way. Uh, yeah, Kid and God. I'm checking the chat, too. I'm just reading through the tweets and got lost on the fucking escapist forums, apparently. Alright. The fuck was I? Thoughts on the Far Cry, contro or Far Cry 4 controversy? Is that the one where it's got, like, the flamboyantly gay dude that looks like um, Anderson Cooper sitting on, like, a native... Uh, like, his little Vietnamese man sitting by his feet or something? He's looking like a badass antagonist. I, I'm pretty sure that was what it was. Let me fucking look up a picture of Far Cry 4. I'm almost certain it was the Anderson Cooper lookalike cover. Oh, let's see. Yeah, it completely fucking looks like him. If that hair part didn't go to the right, if it went to the left, that's fucking Anderson Cooper. <laughs> uh, subjugating some poor little Vietnamese man. So I, I'm guessing, what is a controversy? Are they upset because it's a native on their knees? Or are they upset because they don't want Anderson Cooper as a bad guy in a video game? Like, what, <laughs> what, what bothers them in particular about this? What's got their ass chapped? Because uh, I don't see a problem with it. I think he looks like he'll be a badass uh, antagonist. Who wouldn't want to run around some tropical hellhole with a CNN host uh, trying to kill you at every turn? How could that not be fucking great? Oh, let's see. Thoughts on Nintendo's loss of uh, with the Wii U cells? You're talking about Nintendo's downward decline? I, I don't know. It, it seems like every other thread on V um, that devolves into shit posting between any particular console, it inevitably Nintendo gets brought up and people talk about how their sales are in the shitter or how they're doing terrible or you know needing to sell off assets. Um, I, I don't actually know. Like I, I don't know the exact numbers that they have. I don't know how bad their sales are or what kind of loss they're on or where it's at. I just haven't really been paying attention. I kind of tune it out. There's only so much shit flinging you can kind of not filter out before you're like, fuck it. Uh, let's see. Do I support the consumption of fetuses? Probably not. I'd probably say that's not going to be something I'm going to fucking support. Uh, yeah, hence that's not something I'm going to go with. Uh, what else have we got here? Now, what do you think will happen if a Tumblr femi or feminist gets political power? I I'm going to think they did exactly what happened in Sweden. Don't they have uh, some new law that they got on the books? Or I've seen it be posted about repeatedly saying that you can't criticize immigrants now. Like Sweden has a super left-wingish uh, political party that's like everything, like social justice warrior and feminist, and it's all like rolled up into one. And... Um, that's what you would get. That's what would happen if a Tumblr feminist got political power. Exactly what you see in Sweden. Really crazy fucking laws that don't make a lot of sense. Uh, have you heard of the new Tumblr uh, post-traumatic stress disorder fad? Yeah, I saw a video from Thunderfoot about that. I'm almost certain that was him um, that did a video about that uh, chick on Twitter, the feminist on Twitter, that was claiming that she had post-traumatic stress uh, from the internet. Yeah, if that's what you're talking about. Um, Dory4? Or at Dory4? If that's what you're bringing up. But yeah, I, I saw it. I thought it's as dumb as the all the other shit they get into. Uh, let's see. Will you ever do a Tumblr video about transphobia or trans-related stuff? I did. I did a video about the trans community, or a, a portion of them from Tumblr in particular. 
Uh, that was the third Tumblrisms video. That was about uh, terrible uh, heterosexual syscum and why we're such uh, privileged pieces of shit. Uh, but yeah, that was the third video uh, I did. You can find a mirror of it up on YouTube. It got pulled uh, because of the opening, apparently, is what I was told, but or what I came to find out. But it's out there. But yeah, it, it talks about that. Uh, more Tumblrisms. Uh, yeah, there's a new one coming up in a couple of days, actually. I just finished up doing the cultural appropriation one, uh, so I'll be posting that. Uh, looking forward to anything at E3 this year? I don't know. Um, th the most embarrassing moments, because you know that one of them is going to make an ass out of themselves? <laughs> I mean, fuck. Every E3 has one company that just brings the stupidest fucking shit to the stage, and it makes it worth watching. Like, almost any year you can think of E3, and one particular company will jump to mind. You know, Sony with the Ridge Racer shit, or, you, you know, attack its weak point for massive damage, shit like that. Um, or one Muron troops, that kind of stuff. So, hopefully, uh, that that will happen. They will embarrass the shit out of themselves with really cheesy crap, because that's always entertaining. Uh, from Felzomo, I guess. Uh, why don't you want to make money off your videos? Why would I? I you know, again, they're just... Um, they're YouTube videos. It's just a stupid little hobby that I like. Why would I monetize that? Like, I'm not, I'm not shitting on somebody. If they want to put videos out and they want to throw money on it, whatever, that's, that's your fucking decision. But um, I just I like doing videos, and I don't see a reason to try to make money off it. I, I get by just fine uh, without the nickel or 10 cents, if I was lucky, that YouTube modiz or monetization, whatever the fuck, would uh, bring me. Uh, your thoughts on Harvard forcing a privilege course for new student orientation? Are they actually doing that? That sounds that that that's hard to believe. I mean, it sounds fucking crazy, but at this point, I, I suppose that probably would happen. Harvard, really, a, a privilege course for new student orientation. It reminds me of that story that was on um, what is it? Uh, Foundation for Individual Rights in Education, that Fire.org or whatever it is. Uh, had some run-in with a college that would, for their student orientation, when they'd have the uh, new students that were coming in meet like their dorm leader or whatever the fuck they call them, uh, they had all these weird, you know, fucking sessions dedicated to talking about sexual orientation and sexual this and sexual that, and you know, talking about race and just all this social justice shit um, that was really, really weird. So I wonder, I wonder if Harvard's going in that direction, if they're going to start to just do crazy fucking shit related to social justice uh, for all the new students that show up. Uh, let's see. Uh, you get a power listing, what would you do with it? All right, let's see what he's linking to. The power to resurrect oneself from death? What would I do with it? Probably nothing. My life is fucking boring. It's not like I'm a, a skydiver or a firefighter or some shit where I'm going to get bumped off every day. So that power would probably do nothing for me. I'm just, I'm so fucking boring, it would do nothing. Uh, have you had any type of contact with social justice warriors in real life? Yeah, on occasion. Uh, nothing as fucking crazy as Tumblr is, though. Um, and the stuff that I encountered was a couple years ago. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't recent. But um, I don't know. I just, I get this feeling that this Tumblr and the social justice crowd and all these fucking people, like, encountering them in real life would be so unpleasant. Like, I've seen those little cards, the privilege checking cards that says it's not my uh, a job to educate you, and then it, like, gives you a Google link to something. Like, those people just seem like they would be fucking horrible to, uh, to have to deal with. Well, let's see. What will the Southwest uh, American states do when Lake Mead runs dry? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> It's not going to be pleasant and get really dehydrated, have all the crops die. Uh, <laughs> like what? I don't know what answer to give you. I'm sorry. Uh, what do you think if a Tumblr social justice warrior gets political power? I'm pretty sure that, God, I probably already answered that. I fucking suck at using Twitter. Uh, what is this? I've never seen or heard anyone act, talk like they do on Tumblr. Is it just an internet thing or... Uh, it did not happen to me in real life. Well, shit. Um, what is it? Progressives Today, which I think is like some YouTube channel that uploads crazy social justice warrior shit uh, and politics, I guess, from real life. 
uh, did the thing where they went to the white privilege concert or concert conference in Wisconsin. I mean, that's been going on for, for 15 years. Um, and I mean, that's the same shit that you, these Tumblrettes are saying. I mean, these people, like these academic people get together and talk about white privilege and all the other buzzwords that you hear on Tumblr. And that's a, a big component of it are, you know, you've got all these like PhDs, all these sociologists going there to talk about uh, how terrible white people are and like playing clips from teaching children in the classroom, this crazy shit. But yeah, that, that channel uploaded like a whole series of videos about it. But yeah, they're out there and they talk like it and act like it, especially when they're together in a group and they don't think other people are watching. Uh, can you talk about the not all men Tumblr feminist meme? Uh, meme, 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 whatever, I don't know. I don't know. Not all men. I, I I'm not even familiar with it. Um, who was this belly button lint? Are you belly lint? Uh, if you can link me to it or or show me what you're talking about, because I, I guess I'm not familiar with it. I don't know. I, I don't know how to answer that. Oh, let's see. I'm sorry. I'm fucking crawling through uh, the questions. Oh. We ever do more mockery videos on YouTubers rather than socio-political commentary. Uh, that was mostly fuck around stuff, and that was like it was a long fucking time ago. Um, I mean, it was fun to do it at the time, but like the stuff that interests me now is just the Tumblrism stuff. Uh, you know, sticking with that. Uh, so no, I don't. I don't like the mockery stuff. Probably not. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of stick to doing what I'm doing. Uh, have you heard of the trans ethnic community on Tumblr? If so, thoughts? I can't. I I have a hard time believing that <laughs> that any community like that exists. That's not completely comprised of trolls fucking with other Tumblrettes. Like I I don't even know if they're that dumb to reach the point of doing like trans ethnic shit. Uh, that would be stunning if that were the case. That would be absolutely fucking stunning. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see. Thoughts on homosexual stereotypes being used as antags in media often. Uh, like game theory video on being anti-LGBT. Yeah, people linked me to this game theory video, but I, I didn't get a, I didn't watch it. I didn't get a chance to. Like, I didn't sit down to, to see it. Um, used as antagonists. Like, I, I can't. Can you think of an example of that happening, though? I, like a homosexual antagonist with like all these stereotypical behaviors. I can't think of that in a video game. The only thing that comes to mind is that fucking new Far Cry 4 cover. So is that what they're upset about? Because of that one thing, they think there's like a trend. Ah, uh, are you talking about in media in general? Maybe I'm being retarded. I don't know. Am I excited for Smash Brothers from Dela Johnston? Uh, I mean, it's cool that it's coming out, but I don't own a Wii U. I haven't bought a Wii U, a PS4, or a Xbox One. I'm not, I'm not putting money down for any of them. So it's not like I'm going to get a chance to play it, I guess. But again, it's cool that it's coming out. I mean, the people that have got a Wii U will be able to play it and like it. Uh, what will the next Hugbox Chronicles be about? I have no idea. I had something planned, but it kind of fell through, so I just moved on. Um, I don't know at the time, I guess. I've got a Tumblrisms and then the new video game thing I'm doing, but um, aside from that, I, I couldn't tell you. Have you ever been accused of being a rapist by a feminist? No, because I wouldn't date a feminist. That just sounds like a horrible idea. Why would you willingly get into that situation? I'm not saying a feminist can't be a nice person, but it just, I wouldn't want to even put myself in the situation where if we break up and they get upset, they declare that, you know, uh, every sex act was, or every sex act was rape after that point because you know now they're emotionally upset about it or some maybe I'm just thinking of like the crazy tumblerette but I, I wouldn't I just uh, I wouldn't get accused of it because I wouldn't date them is what I'm saying uh, so no I've steered clear of that holy shit uh, do you think all trans people act like the ones featured in your video uh no probably not no I wouldn't think that they all do. Uh, I would think that the ones I pointed out on Tumblr sure as shit do. Uh, that main group that are very vocal, even the social justice warrior, special snowflake kind of personality type, uh, definitely. Uh, let's see. Thoughts on Vit Vito Russo? I have no thoughts. I, you'd have to link me to what you're referring to. I'm out of the loop, I guess. 
we do tumblerisms on furries or anything like a furry. Um, I, I don't really have plans for that. Like I said, I was going to do the other kin thing, but um, I probably would have touched on furries just to, I guess, <laughs> make a distinction between the two. But no, I don't have any videos planned for furries. Uh, should everyone be allowed to voice their opinion in reference to social justice warriors, feminist tumblerina fucktards? Yeah. I, I, again, I'm completely for free speech. If those people want to say the shit that they say, I'm not going to get in their face about it. But, uh, you know, the reverse of that is I don't like this whole, you know, when they try to say it's hate speech or uh, harassment or they just don't like it and try to get it taken down. But, no, I'm, I'm for everybody, everyone, having uh, the ability to voice their opinion. I think that's fundamentally important. Uh, in my country, at least. In my country, at least. Uh, also, what do you think about that indie game company thing, only women? Or only hiring women? I don't even know what um, what indie game company is doing that. I think the only thing that pops to mind uh, related to that, of a company that only hires women, is I think it was some British uh, newspaper did a story about some woman starting up a like a development company in Hollywood that only hired women, and it ended up going like bankrupt in three months, and she, it was a fucking complete disaster. But I haven't heard of the indie company doing that. Uh, what happened to your old YouTube accounts? Uh, a handful of them are just gone. Other ones I just used for, I don't know, uh, doing something and then deleted them because they didn't, like, have a purpose. I mean, YouTube accounts, or old YouTube accounts, were just, like, old email accounts. Fuck, you know. For a long time, you didn't have to jump through this registration hoop to get multiple accounts. Now every fucking site wants, you know, biometric data for you to sign up for some fucking free service. Uh, what are your thoughts on people with headmates? I don't think headmates exist. That's a complete, like, Tumblr mindfuck uh, kind of thing. I think they're schizophrenic people. I think they're people with multiple personality disorder. But, like, this fantasy that Tumblr's constructed of having, you know, like some kind of a sitcom centered in your fucking head with 92 different voices and, oh, you know, I've got one that's a galaxy, and here's Thor, and there's Jesus, and, you know, John Wayne Gacy's in there, too. Like, it just seems fucking stupid. It, it seems like adults that want to have imaginary friends um, and have an excuse to do it, or a desperate, you know, cry for attention in the oppression Olympics. It just seems like utter shit. Uh, let's see, fag balls, what do you got here? Playing with privilege, the invisible benefits of gaming while male... Oh, John McIntosh, that's Anita's boyfriend, isn't it? That's the guy that was in on the scam with her ass? Uh, over the course of the past two years, I've had the opportunity to serve as producer on... Yeah, I'm sure this is a guy. I, I'm fairly certain this is the same fucking guy. God, look at the length of this. Going on and on and on. What website was this for? Wait, does this go talk? No, it's... Oh, Polygon. All right. Oh, let's see. Uh, Snazzy Pierre, do I eat poo-poo? Nope. Uh, no, I do not eat shit. Contrary to uh, to other statements, I do not eat shit. Uh, how could you possibly be having a stream where, when there's racism, sex, uh, sexism, and homophobia, or homophobia in video games? I know, it's terrible. How, how could I function with all those blights out in society? Uh, I'll have to write a Kotaku article detailing all the times I was almost raped and how... Uh, Animal Crossing triggers me. That's the only way to fight racism, sexism, and homophobia in video games. Uh, what do you think of steampunk and people that try to do it in meat space? Uh, who's your favorite thinker or writer? I'm sorry, meat space? Uh, it's got to be something I have no idea what that reference is to. Uh, I have no problem with steampunk. I, I guess. It's worked in fictional, you know, like a fictional setting. That's fine by me. We're talking about people who like dress the part and act like they're in a steampunk world? Are we talking about like cosplayers that have lost their shit and can't distinguish between reality and, and uh, imagination? Uh, and your favorite thinker or writer? Um, fuck, I don't... Uh, Marcus Aurelius. I like the meditations. I think it was a, a honest recollection by somebody about their life and what impacted them. So that's what I'd go with. I got somebody asking a question on, on Steam. Uh, what the fuck was it? Oh, never mind. I'm just saying that Watch Dogs is the blunder of the century, apparently. It's good to know. 
FMK, a Tumblr fem or feminist, a trans but not trans Tumblr user, or a hobo down the street? Fuck, Mary kill? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'd kill myself, then I don't have to fuck or marry either of them. That That's my solution to your riddle. Uh, I got a summer job at the local tax office, and the upper management is almost entirely a uh, social justice warrior girl club. What do I do? Ugh. Segregate yourself in the basement and just try not to ever interact with them and hope they don't tell you know tell everybody that you raped them, or rape-stared them, or there's some microaggression that you committed because you, you asked for some cream in your coffee, and obviously that means you hate black people because you're widening it up, or some crazy shit like that. I just, I would stay in the basement or in a broom closet and just fucking pray that uh, they don't bother you. That, that would be the solution. Oh, another question through Steam Air. How do you think the social justice community will end? Do you think it will end? Uh, yep. Obviously, I, I don't think it can go on. It's fucking crazy. It's a snake that's eating its own tail. Like, these people devour themselves, and that wouldn't be a problem if they only fucked with themselves, but they shit up everything else in the process. But yeah, I, the group will eventually implode. There's no way it can't implode. Uh, you, they just, they're always attacking each other. It's always, who's the most oppressed? Who's got it the worst? Who can, you know, whine about the most oppression and imagine the most slights that have been taken out against them by society? Um, so they're, oh, they hate each other. Nobody in that group can stand each other. They just kind of stick together because they feed off each other. Um, they're like liches. You get D&D, right? Like a lich. You know, like they, they literally eat negative emotions and shit. That's, that's what a social justice warrior is at heart. It's a fucking freak of nature. Uh, what do you think about the FCC approving the internet fast and slow lanes? You're talking about the net neutrality thing where they said they could show favoritism to certain companies by making the, the connection better than with other companies. I think it's a fucking horrible idea. It's obviously going to be used to target things that aren't light. You're, you're telling me these major corporations that are like gatekeepers to the internet, uh, you know, these ISPs, these companies that uh, decide who can go where or if they can go at all, like you're going to give them control over this company or that company, and they're going to form, you know, uh, back alley relationships with each other where it's like, hey, you know, shit, any up-and-coming new company that challenges you, well, we've got a deal, you know, I'm going to give you faster service and you'll pay me a little more and I'll, I'll, knock, them, I'll knock them off the road. So it, um, it's, it's a terrible idea. It's a horrible idea. And you'll see it play out. Um, yeah, it, it'll start with just, you know, like they say it's going to be like, oh, we're just going to, you know, if you pay extra, this will happen. We're not going to fuck with anything else. But you'll, you'll start to see certain sites get slow. And, um, yeah, it's it's not going to end well. Uh, let's see what we got here. To what do you accredit your rapid popularity? Not many channels have 25,000 subs with 20-ish videos. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's popularity. I I think what happened is I, I did the Dina video, and for some reason that got spread a lot. And so people showed up. I mean, before that I had like 1,000 or 2,000 subs that were watching like the the Tumblr stuff or the Dina videos or whatever. Um, and the, Or not the Dina videos, but the, the other stuff, the Anita videos. But once the Dina thing came out and more people showed up and then I guess they spread it. Uh, so I, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's rapid popularity. I, I just think people were you know linked to the video. They watched it. They thought, oh, okay, maybe it's appealing or whatever and subscribed and then probably fucking forgot about it. I, I think the, the majority of the 25,000 subs are people that you subscribe like a favoriting system or a bookmark and then just forgot. And one day, months from now, they'll be like, who the fuck is this? And unsubscribe. So that's that's what I'd accredit it to. People accidentally clicking a button. Uh, can you talk about the source of all the liberal bullshit? Yeah, I, like I had said, I plan on doing a video on it. Um, but uh, not, not at the moment. I'm not going to talk about it. I wanted to put it together in something decent. Hopefully I'll have it out by the end of the summer, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of work and I'm just a horribly lazy and unpunctual son of a bitch. Uh, which Tumblrisms, Hugbox, Chronicle, etc. video was the most fun to re or funny to research? Fuck. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I don't know. I, I, I mean, the truth is they're, they're all fucking crazy. The cultural appropriation one uh, that I'm doing now has a lot of really angry people that are just upset about really stupid shit. Um, so I'd say that was the most funny. 
because some of the stuff I've read is just fucking crazy. Um, and I, you'll see what I'm talking about when the video comes out. Again, it'll be it'll be soon. Uh, what do you think is at the root of the SJW snowflake bullshit? Uh, I know it's not genuine altruism. Uh, nope, nope, uh, it's not altruism. Uh, I, again, like I'll do a video on it and talk about it. it, it it's it's just a theory. Probably I'm probably wrong, but that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna do. Here's an article from someone defending said not all men. All right, let's see. All right, I'm reading through this shit. All right. Well, it just okay. So I, I'm reading through this. It seems like just a stupid fucking trend. And this is on Tumblr. This is like some feminist meme or some or meme or whatever the fuck you say it is. What site is this? Oh, here we go. Yeah, it just seems like stupid shit. I guess would be my would be my opinion on that. Uh, did you ever watch True Capitalist Radio when it was a thing on poll? Um, not really. Like I, somebody asked this during the last live stream, but I didn't like I didn't make the connection. I I've seen videos of <laughs> True Capitalist Radio. But um, it wasn't something I was following at the time. Uh, please talk about the value of a degree in modern society. If someone has practical skills but no degree, are they screwed? No, I, I think it's the opposite. I think the market's flooded with too many people with degrees that don't do them any good. I mean, obviously, getting a higher education to get into certain fields, it's going to give you an advantage. But this idea that people that work with their hands or you know, skilled laborers or somebody with a trade that you know was a journeyman and an adept and, you know, it, it, that had a mentor basically taking them through this and going on this journey. Like, those skills are useful. You can build shit. You can do stuff. There's always going to be jobs for plumbers and electricians and people in construction. That's always going to be needed. Um, but somebody with, say, a liberal arts degree or a woman's study degree or some, you know, <laughs> some 1600s Gaelic language degree, you know, like crazy shit like that, they're fucked. But the guy with a skill who doesn't have a degree, he's going to have a job. So I, I don't know. I don't know why that came about. I don't know where people got the idea that if you work with your hands or if you have a, a trade skill that you're scum or that you're not good or that you need to get a degree to be to somebody. I think it's just they fuck themselves by creating that idea and now nobody can find a job because they have degrees that don't do anything. Uh, is our generation turning into an oversensitive, wimpy, sissy... Uh... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, the, I think the gener what is it, generation Y, the millennials... Um, you kind of see that. I think the generation after them is going to be really fucking wretched. Uh, just really terrible. Imagine Tumblr raised from the cradle up until their teenage years. Imagine how fucking horrible that's going to be. Um, yeah, I think people are oversensitive nowadays, but like I said, I think it's going to be really bad the next generation when it really has a chance to kind of fester. Oh, let's see. Take a look at the chat here, see if there are any <laughs> any questions. Uh, are you even reading the chat here from the troll? Yes, I am. Like I said, I'm just I'm working my way back and forth, and I think the chat froze on me too, which probably sucked. Because the last thing I'm thing or saying is, by the way, uh, I Anita Sarkeesian have some choice words about Street Racing Syndicate and how it's the Duke Nukem of racing games. Everything about that sounds fucking crazy. Is that did she write an article about that? Is there a video of her doing that? It's just that can't be. <laughs> it's like you made you. It's like um, you made up a fucking sentence with random words. Because I can't imagine somebody. I, I just I'm trying to picture this. You have to link that. Oh, what do I think about Operation American Spring from Aaron Carey in the chat? Uh, was that the one where they said 38 million people were going to show up in Washington and overthrow the government, and like 10 guys showed up? And like a chick with a, a cooler full of beer and shit. 
I, I'm sure I saw a fucking video of some guy going crazy and yelling at the camera and then some woman talking about FEMA camps. So I think that was the Operation American Spring. And didn't uh, I'm pretty sure I saw on like poll threads too. It was linked to some guy that does a lot of advertising with this shit um, that I cannot for the life of me remember off the top of my head. But yeah, I think it, I think it was, I don't know, a honeypot or stupid or just a publicity stunt, but they were way short of 30 million fucking people. Way fucking short of it. You know, let's see some other questions here. Uh, opinion on media response to the National Socialist taxi driver? I vaguely saw this. Was that the, um, cause was he like Filipino or something? It was like some guy, I, I'm almost certain he wasn't white, but he was like a national socialist. He had like a, was it a Nazi armband or something like that? And uh, the media was up his ass and they were saying like he couldn't collect fares. Is it, uh, if I'm thinking of the right fucking story, this is from uh, Sieg, Siegfall. <laughs> but um, I, I'm pretty sure that was it. And like I said, I only saw a little bit of it. So I, I don't know like the whole story around it. I just thought it was funny. Um, and then he had said something in response to like, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll have to look it up to see, I guess. Uh, what are some good open world games I can get uh, for cheap? Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> my, my game recommendations are shit. People have asked me on Ask FM, and every game I recommend is crap. So I'm probably the worst person to ask would be would be my response to that. Well, let's see here. What do people find wrong about cute, sexy girls kicking ass in a video game? I have no fucking clue. Like, I, I don't get it. I, the majority, like especially in fighting games, uh, the casts are usually pretty varied. I mean, you get a good amount of women and men in most fighting games, or at least a decent amount. Um, I, I don't know. Like I, I've never, I've never thought of it being a problem when I'm playing a fighting game uh, or the character I'm choosing. Like I think they're reading too much into it. Um, but again, the, uh, this is the same type of person that finds shit wrong with everything. I guess uh, it's Florida. We aren't allowed to have basements. Well, that would be. It's a fun fact to know. It's good to know. If you could kill Mary had a little lamb, would you do it? And would you enjoy it? I don't know. I'd probably, I'd probably not murder. Mary had a little lamb. That would be my response. Will GTA V ever be released on PC? Of course it will. They always release uh, their GTA games on uh, PC. It's like an eight-month window or something uh, from the console release to PC release. It'll come. There's, there's no way it wouldn't. Have you ever heard any legitimate points from a social justice warrior? Not off the top of my head, no. Um, they're always reciting like broken science or bad shit or uh, really terrible arguments that they've heard regurgitated. So it's always like the same bulletin points. It's always the same talking points. Um, so no, I haven't. I haven't. I've yet to encounter good points from a social justice warrior that didn't just seem retarded. Uh, do you think Half Life Three will ever happen? And what do you think about Star Wars Episode Seven? I have life for you eventually happen, you know, in another 10, 11, 12 years. It'll get out there. Uh, Star Wars Episode Seven. I have no idea. It could be a fucking disaster or it could be okay. Uh, with Lucas off it, it might have a chance. Uh, what do you think of people who identify as non-binary and M-O-G-I-I? -I? What the fuck does that mean? Marginalized orientations, gender identity, and intersex. What in the fuck does that even mean, though? Non-binary and moggies. Marginalized orientation, gender identity, intersex. I think it, it just, I don't know, is this, like is this a new option on Facebook that you can put with 400 other pronoun choices and other crazy shit? People who identify as that, I have no idea. Right. Non-binary, so what, are we talking about hermaphrodites? Like they're physically two sexes? Like... I don't know. I have no response to that, I guess. Uh, will you ever do a video on the real force behind all the social justice warrior bullshit? Yes, I will.
Uh, in one of your videos, you mentioned quitting YouTube because of stupid takedowns. What convinced you to make further vids? Um, oh, what the fuck was his name? I think that's in reference, or what you're talking about is Kinjopi, was it? Was a guy that uh, found a way to work the YouTube system, right, where he could go in and... Um, God, he wreaked havoc everywhere for quite some time with that shit. He, he could go in and basically fill out a form really quickly and get it responded to almost immediately. So he was going around taking down everything. Um, I think he went after people like, was it Nintendo Capri Sun and like other LPers that had like 100,000, 200,000 uh, subs. If that's what you're talking about, I don't know if I made a video in relation to it. I remember it happening to a lot of people. Um, yeah, I remember that going on. That went on for like six or seven months. I don't know what the end result was. Uh, he stopped doing it for some reason, but I don't know the end of the story on that. Uh, will the free market fix it? If not, uh, why do you hate Ron Paul and Thomas Sowell? Uh, the free market, free market will, of course, fix it, obviously. Why would it not? It fixes everything. You need to have faith. Uh, what do you think is that the root of this? Yeah, again, oh, wait, I've already read this one. Shit, I am going backwards. Do I play Dota or Dota 2? Uh, no, I don't. I'm terrible at uh, ass faggots. I'm not, it's not a game type you don't want me to play. Uh, I'm fucking horrible at it. And not that it's not fun to fuck around in, but I'm just, I'm god-awful at that particular type of game. Uh, you never told us what ethnicity you are. Are you Greek master race? No, I'm not. I told you I was part Irish. I had a little, a little bit of mech in me. Um, but I never answered what the majority was. Uh, because nobody, I don't think anybody guessed it during the live stream. So I'll leave that out as a mystery. I could be um, a black Jewish Swedish man, and you never know. It could be my my horrible secret that you've never you never would have guessed. Uh, thoughts on the latest trend of pedophiles saying that if LGBT plus is natural, then their pedophilia is natural as well. <laughs> uh, I haven't I have not heard that that trend yet, uh, or or seen a story about that yet. But that would be funny. Uh, that would be funny if they did it. Pedophile, are you talking like? Are we talking like uh, groups like Nambla are saying this? Or I guess I would ask. This is Jay Barber. Uh, if you could uh, like expand on that, give me give me a little more details, man. Uh, as to what we're talking about. I'm gonna go back to the chat room here. See what we got. Will you do a male privilege Tumblrisms video? Uh, no, I will not. Uh, what do you think of the Ukraine car uh, crisis? I already told you, uh, or I mentioned in the last stream, I thought um, I thought Putin was pretty badass. Uh, not not you know I'm saying more than that, but I don't know. the The region has a huge history to it. You've got shit going on on both sides. I look at the psychology of a man like Putin, and I think here's a guy that was you know KGB. He grew up. He took out the oligarchs uh, and positioned himself as this powerful guy. He's got these you know ideas about how grand uh, the USSR, the Soviet Union was. He seems like a guy that would want to push into that region and take it. He seems like a guy that wants Russia to be more than Russia. So, I think the crisis will continue. I just don't know how it'll how it'll turn out. It'll be interesting. Ghostbusters one or two? Uh, Ghostbusters one would be my answer. Why does autism and Sonic always come together? I don't know. That is a fucking academic question. If you could answer that, you would be very rich. That's like some fucking high level chemistry type shit that you'd have to explore to figure that out. Uh, thoughts on the controversy over Samus's heels in the new Smash Brothers? So were people upset about that because she was wearing heels and that's like some sexual thing or were they upset about that because this somehow ties into like other M and they didn't like that? What was, what group are we talking about being pissed off? Uh, Nazis dress better than social justice warriors at least? Well of course they do. They had Hugo Boss design their outfits man had a fucking spectacular sense of style. Uh, another another question, why are Sonic and My Little Pony so closely tied to autism? I don't know, it's like a Bermuda Triangle of fucking insanity. So, uh, I'm not sure on that. Uh, do you like tabletop gaming, card games, uh, RPGs, d and I've played them before. I have a group uh, of friends that I know that are like big into like this geeky shit of like miniatures and Warhammer. Uh, they like D&D &D and stuff like that. And so, you know, occasionally like if they're doing something on a Saturday, I'll pop by and kind of take part in it. But I never got like huge into it. Um, but yeah, my friends are big into that shit. 
uh, what do you think of the militariz or militarization of government departments? And then I'm sure this, yeah, this links to a blog talking about it. Uh, I don't know. I, I think the government's been pretty open about the direction they're going with shit. I, I think it's been pretty apparent for a while. Um, it's just, it's not a good sign. You can't, you can't live in a country where you see your rights constantly getting infringed upon and all these crazy laws being passed about how they can surveil you and centralize power and do all these things that the federal government should not be able to do and, you know, develop these new uh, departments for the state and, you know, homeland defense and different things like that and then arm them to the teeth and then take existing agencies and arm them to the teeth. It, like, there's, there's a reason to do that. And, you know, it's not a positive one. But it's not my problem. That's your problem. I'm going to be in lovely Taiwan with glorious China watching my back, you know, potentially to invade, so I might be fucked in that sense, but at the very least, I won't be here when everything implodes. And you have all those people in Boston clapping <laughs> as fucking Black Hawk helicopters level half of their downtown during the uprising. Uh, were you planning on doing anything not related to social justice warriors, Tumblr, TARDs in the future? From Captain Morgan, too. Yes, um, but it's related to them anyway. Uh, it's about video game journalism. Uh, I'm actually doing a series about that that'll focus on a different journalist each video. Uh, and the first one's going to be Patricia Hernandez. And so it, 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 just, it goes over these people and their lack of journalistic integrity. It shows their educational past to show you if they're qualified or not, talks about where they've worked, and then shows you the articles and the quality of comments they make, and then their social media and how it relates to that. Um, but that's, that's kind of the other thing I'm, I'm doing. Um, but again, it's related. Again, we're talking Patricia Hernandez. So you can imagine that's pretty closely related to social justice shit. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Is Sonichu my waifu? God, no. Jesus Christ, no. I'm a liberal, support socialist systems like healthcare, but hate social justice warriors and feminism. Thoughts on me, or thoughts of me based on that. I think uh, you're a liberal that supports social systems like healthcare. That's my thoughts on that. After that, like, I don't. I, don't uh, yeah, I agree with you. I can't stand social justice warriors or feminism. I have no problem with people having different political views, and I think politics and debate and discourse in the country would be better with those, you know, social justice warriors, these extremists, removed from the conversation, regardless of what the topic is. Um, I think that it just it leads to better conversations. Again, I can disagree with somebody and have a completely different political uh, belief structure than them and have no problem with them. Yeah, So I have, I have no issue with you being a liberal or supporting those systems. I might disagree with you, but uh, it doesn't bother me. And I'm glad you hate those people because they're horrible. Social justice warriors are horrible. Thoughts on the war on drugs? That's a, a lost war. It, it's a stupid war. I'm not saying I think you should legalize drugs. I'm just saying that the amount of money being spent on it sure isn't accomplishing much. And with shit like the Fast and Furious, what are we doing? We're arming fucking uh, cartels. You know, it's just, it's crazy. It's a waste of money. It's fucking ridiculous. Uh, when are you leaving for Taiwan and will you continue to upload videos? Yes, I will continue to upload videos and I'm going to be leaving for Taiwan by July of next year. I'll be out of here. Uh, what's next for the channel? Uh, again, it's just going to be normal videos, so Tumblrisms, and then the the game journalism one is going to be coming up, uh, and then hopefully I'll have the the source video done by this July. So that's that's kind of where I'm planning on going. Uh, let's pop back over to the chat here. Uh, please respond from James Russell. I, I see you, James Russell. Uh, what are we responding to? Oh, do I go fast? Yes, I go fast. Obviously. Obviously. What's your Steam ID? Or do you mind if I add you? I, yeah, I don't mind. Uh, it's in the About section on my uh, YouTube profile. It's Xeno Jim. Uh, feel free to send a contact uh, request and play some multiplayer games. Kick my ass. <laughs> Have I ever seen a six-foot-tall, walking-on-two-legs lizard? I might know a gentleman who has. I'll see if I can find him and bring him into the this little live stream here in a few minutes. Uh, you need to do one on Jim Sterling? Yeah, Jim Sterling. Are you talking about the video game uh, journalist videos? Yeah. Sterling's one of them. Um, Sterling is definitely one of them. Movie Bob uh, is another. Uh, 
Patricia Hernandez, and there are certain people from Polygon. There's a certain individual from Giant Bomb, especially, um, and just yeah, there, it's going to be like I've got ten ten people in mind, so at the very least, it would be ten videos. Oh, let's see, who the hell is that in the picture you always use as your avatar? Uh, it's just a very elegant gentleman in a nice white wig. I have no idea who that is. That that's exactly who just popped up when uh, when I did a search for aristocrat. That's what I got. And I thought he uh, he looked like a a winner, so I went with that. Well, let's see what else we got here. Have I ever been to the Sonic Fanon Wiki? I, I, did you misspell fandom, or is there actually like one called Sonic Fanon Wiki? Um, no, I've never, I've never been there. I wouldn't know what that is. Uh, let's see. Who's your favorite JoJo? Jim is Asian. You might have been asked this already. I'm just going through here. Preferred news sources. Listen, you're going to get fucked on news sources. That's that's just the reality of it. You're always going to find a bias that's going to lean one way or the other. It's going to be really hard to find anything that's not utter shit. Uh, the best thing you can do is try to get multiple sources and then try to find the common facts between them. Uh, that's the best you can hope for. You just have to have a really discerning eye regardless of what you read. Uh, I feel for you. I mean, there's again, it's just you. You've got to do that. You have to. You have to go through multiple articles about one issue or one story or topic or whatever, and then find the common threads because usually that'll be the the true part. Uh, what do you think of the gay agenda in comic books? It, now, I, I've I've seen all these weird, like all this weird shit that's going on in comics right now, where they're they're either making protagonists gay or LGBT of some variety, or they're you know swapping races or they're swapping genders. Like again, I'm not a huge comic guy, so I don't understand this. So maybe somebody who's into comics can explain it. But why is that push going on? Like, what's it doesn't change the story to me if you switch the sex or the race. Like, what what is the point of doing that? It seems to be this like big thing that's going on, and I have no idea why the fuck it's happening. Uh, do you smoke? Yes, I smoke. I smoke cigarettes. I'm a horrible person. Uh, let's see. Do you remember the 500 Gorillion? Uh, please, Warthog117, you're being a fucking bigot. It was 22,000 quadrillion. Not gorillion. Quadrillion. My god. You fucking Nazis. Always always minimizing that number. Oh, that's hate speech, you bigot. Yes, it's just terrible. Opinions on apartheid system. Are you talking about the system that was used in Africa, like apartheid in like South Africa, that kind of stuff. Like, what what will my opinion be on that? There's no apartheid anymore. It, it's gone. Now South Africa is a utopia where everybody lives in peace and there's nothing horrible that happens. Oh, let's see. Liberals should kill themselves. <laughs> well, that's a positive positive message to go on. Uh, Rosen, <laughs> Rose the Nose eighty eight. Are you a big guy? Uh, no, I'm. I'm a really typical, normal, everyday, mundane white guy. Nothing is really unique or stands out about me. I'm just one of the space fillers in the background of a crowd scene. Uh, why do you say faggot weirdly? Uh, probably because I'm from Minnesota, and so we're going to say words weird. Uh, when I want a soda, I say I want a pop, which people in different calls I've been with find that interesting for some reason. Like, nobody else says it. I mean, I know it's Wisconsin, Minnesota, that's about it, but we're weird. I can't, I don't know, we talk fucked up, and, and that's the state. I blame the region. It's not, it's not my fault, obviously. What's your opinion on technology and anarcho-primitivism and the Unabomber? I would love to act like I'm smart enough to know what anarcho-primitivism is. I have no fucking clue. It sounds really impressive, but I do not know. Uh, as for the Unabomber, uh, man, if you read his manifesto, some of the shit he said is fucking striking, considering the current climate with politics and uh, political correctness and other things. It's some weird shit, man. I've, I've seen some postings from his, his rambling manifestos and 
That was interesting. Uh, why are you going to Taiwan? I'm going to Taiwan to uh, teach, make money. I have a, a career outside the U.S., but uh, you know the biggest draw, I guess, is I think that particular region of the world um, is going to be, you know, an economic powerhouse in the coming couple of decades. So I want to be near that. I think that's a good place to be. You know, you'll be safe in that area. You've got uh, places like uh, Seoul and South Korea, Tokyo, Hong Kong. You know, you've got all these cities. It's so close. I mean, it's a couple hundred miles trip here, a couple hundred miles there. But Taiwan is kind of located in a region that is, I think, economically looking good in the future. At least that's my hope. Uh, are social justice warriors guilty of the pretender syndrome? Um, yes and no. I mean, there are people that... Again, they, uh, they, yeah, I guess they pretend to be into something or give a shit, and then kind of infiltrate a group and spread their own malicious or malicious bullshit. I guess. Uh, I got a question on Steam too here. Narg, narg, or nargog? What the fuck was that? Take a look here. What are your thoughts on Dark Souls Two? You know, I went into it not... You know, like, I get it. People were upset about the graphical downgrade. I get that. I was pissed off about it, too. And I was hoping the PC version would be different. Um, and it wasn't, really. Uh, but regardless of that, I went in wanting to play, like, a Dark Souls game. I like th those kind of games. I like Demon Souls. I like Dark Souls. So I was excited to play it. And it is very similar to Dark Souls 1. But the thing that I don't like, the thing that didn't appeal to me, was how disjointed it felt. Like in Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1, there felt like there was kind of like this cohesion to the world, right? Um, even in Demon Souls, where you're in this like Nexus hub, and you've got these different locations you warp to, and then they're like, you know, contain miniature worlds, but they felt connected while you were in there, you know, moving from one section to the next. But in Dark Souls 2, it just, it feels like everything's fucking broken apart. Like, it's just, it's really, really weird. You're walking through a cave for 10 feet, and then you're in a, you know, uh, a fucking port to take a ship to a castle, and it's just, it's weird. It's like they created play sections, and then they didn't know how to paste them all together in a kind of, you know, flowing way. And so, I don't know, that that bothers me. It just, it feels disjointed, and it doesn't feel as deep, I guess. Um, and just a sense of exploration and kind of fucking about. Like, I'm replaying Demon Souls on the PS3, right? I, I haven't played it in forever. And it fucking bothers me that when I'm playing Demon Souls on my PS3 that it feels darker and there's more atmosphere in that than in Dark Souls 2 where the gimmick was using a fucking torch. Um, and what does a torch do? It doesn't do fucking anything. It's always bright enough to see. Like, you rarely ever need it. And that just it pisses me off because it shows how you know important that kind of like when they're demoing it off and they're showing this brilliant like lighting system and the shadows and the darkness and the light and that contrast, it feels like if that had been intact, if it had really been like it was shown initially, the torch would have made sense. It would have been really good, but it just feels stripped out. It feels whitewashed. I don't know. I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying compared to Demon Souls and compared to Dark Souls, um, Dark Souls Two I think is inferior. I just I. That's how I feel, I guess. Again, not a bad game, but just not not what it, not what its predecessors were, I guess. Uh, what hair color do you have? I'm blonde. Got blonde hair and blue eyes. Can I make love to your voice? Uh, knock yourself out. I'm sure it sounds like shit. Uh, these live streams generally have bad quality. My mic is terrible, and I'm sure I'm sound just ragged today because I'm I'm like that. Uh, have you ever heard about or played Terraria or Starbound? What do you think of them, if you have played them? Oh, uh, yeah, I dumped about... It's a... I dumped a lot of hours in Terraria, and uh, I played a lot of Starbound, too. Uh, you know, like, there, there's a certain type of game that appeals to me where I feel like I'm playing it, but I'm not really paying attention to it. And that's not like I'm not shitting on the games and saying they're, like, uh, shallow or they're not, they don't have depth or they're not interesting. I'm just saying it's, like, almost background noise but it's an activity. It's like a background activity. So I'll play like Terraria or Starbound or something like even Ace of Spades, and I don't realize, but, you know, I'll suddenly be like, oh, shit, I played it for 10 hours. So it's one. It's like a time dump, you know, so I've got to be really careful with those games because I'll lose half a day if I'm not fucking paying attention. How can I attain heaven? Well, <laughs> that is a question for the ages. 
Uh, all you got to do is put a fedora on your head and shove a banana up your ass, <laughs> and you're on your merry fucking way. Uh, can you please stop talking for like 10 seconds while I turn my air conditioning off? Okay. Yes, that's seven minutes ago, but I'll give, I'll give you 10 seconds. All right, uh, there were your wonderful, wonderful 10 seconds. Oh, here we go. Anarcho-primitivism is the Unabomber belief that technology is bad and we need to get rid of it. Now, what is your belief? I, I don't think technology is inherently bad. I don't think any development or you know technology is bad. Uh, I can see why he was scared. I mean, look at the situation we're kind of in. You know, we've got these devices everywhere that can monitor us at all times. Uh, and it seems like they want to use it to do that. So it's it's scary shit. And then you see companies like um, what was it Boston Dynamics that are working on these, you know, mobile drones, these, you know, ground assault force kind of walking chassis of death get bought by Google and Google has this relationship with the NSA and it, it's like all these technology companies, all these people working on hardware and software and doing all these interesting things have all these kind of back channel relationships with government entities that seem to want to use the technology for a nefarious or um, non-positive way. So I get it. I can get why you'd get scared of that. And again, this was, you wrote this shit a long time ago. Could you imagine if he had had iPads and Twitter when the shit was going on? He lost his fucking mind. But no, I don't think technology is inherently bad. I wouldn't view it as that. All right. Oh, let's see. I feel like I'm rambling. Like I'm rambling a lot. I feel like I'm losing people. So I thought this time I would do things slightly different and just bring in a few other people so I don't ramble about shit. So we can kind of like pick a topic and talk about a topic. It's maybe horrible. May may just be a disastrous decision or maybe great. I don't know. So give me one second. I'm going to mute myself. It'll be one minute while I set this up. All right, well, that ended disastrously, as I expected. It's fantastic. Well, fuck the interruption. Hopefully they can join the room. See how it goes. Uh, this one's Snazzy Pierre five minutes ago. Do you have a girlfriend, wife? Does she eat your... Oh, wait. Right, what do we got here? Someone's joined in. Oh, look at that. So it actually works. Yeah, it surprisingly does. Yay, right. Google knows who I am now. Fantastic. Let's see if the uh, other two gentlemen can get in. All right. So what do we got here? I don't know. We're just waiting on two people at the moment. Yeah. Well, you're having to set up an entire Google Plus account just to do this. They it's... tied it into YouTube? Yeah, they tied Google Plus into YouTube. In order to get into Google Plus now, you actually have to... Uh, Sign up to Google Plus and have everyone join your circles. It's oh, okay. That sounds fascinating. Uh, Jesse, is that you? 
Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently his microphone used it, and he does not know it. Have you accepted Shrek as your lord and savior? Uh, obviously. It's obviously. The first, thing, first thing you do after communion. Uh, <laughs> take him into your heart. Shrek is Drek. I'm not... Uh, Andrew, you're going to need to fix your mic, because uh, you got nothing coming through. <laughs> anyway. Two stupid fucking goys. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, because the V Radio logo is down there. Everyone's like, all right, awesome. Uh, let's see what we got here. Thoughts on Gnome Women's Outreach Initiative that is bankrupting Gnome. <laughs> yeah, that was that was great. Uh, what did she spend on her outreach? Like five times the operating budget of every other department? Like six times the amount of money they were making? Uh, she wasted enormous amounts of money on that. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. Well, what exactly happened there? Well, she got into a position in the company where she was able to use funds to do different things, and she thought the biggest issue confronting uh, the company itself was that they didn't have enough outreach into the female you know, programmer community. And so she, she spent all this money, this ridiculous amount of money, doing these outreach programs, to people that weren't interested. It just, she fucking sunk the company. Seriously? She thought that was an okay thing to do? I have no idea what her rationale was, but I know she left, and I know that uh, she's working in another company. I don't know exactly what they do, but it's probably going to be horrible uh, okay. once she gets her hands on their wallet. All right, then that's... Well, women are like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. As bad as that is to say... Well, not really. <laughs> How big is Jim's dick? By Henry Cockblocker. That's a very apt name. <laughs> right? Um, yeah. Uh, I'll leave that to your imaginations. You know, when you figure out my ethnicity, because I know you've, you've repeatedly asked on that, you, you can calculate it based on that. Okay, I've worked out the uh, autism, so uh, I managed to finally get in. Oh, did you finally fix your fucking mic? I, uh, I did, yeah. No, that's good. That was good timing. What was uh, what was your issue? Um, it kept switching to my other audio driver that I use for uh, for other things, my uh, splitter or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, that wonderful service. Yeah, that's uh, that's good stuff. Minimum wage Niels has joined us. I'll welcome minim minimum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you finally yeah. got your shit working. Well, that's nice. Uh, Everybody. Yeah. I like the uh, picture too. That's uh, that's from the turkey. That's from the that's from the Thanksgiving show, right? Where he throws up three pounds of turkey. <laughs> just three, just three pounds. God, that was a good show. God, delicious too. Yeah. yeah, who doesn't love watching a man puke into a bowl for twenty minutes as he sobs <laughs> himself eating turkey? It's all about the food. Welcome to Freezer Burns, where you watch a middle-aged man slowly kill himself with uh, cholesterol. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and regret. You can't forget that. Lots of tears involved. Uh, how does it feel having almost 1,000 people listening to your opinions? Where are they seeing a number? Oh, you just have to refresh, and it'll say uh, like 800. It's right above the uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. 829 people right now. Let me try refreshing. Oh, there is a view count. All right. Yeah, I didn't even see that. I, I saw the thumbs up, thumbs down. I thought there was 100 people here. I love how everyone suddenly, as soon as they saw V, they're like, well, fuck. V is okay on certain days. I heard it was Tuesdays only. Are, are these the guys who you play tabletop games with? Yes, all the time. Uh, well, that, well, well, Ian Kernoia, yeah, we're the princes of, uh, not something, we're princes of autism. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> all right, so I have a question. Tomodachi Life. Here? Yeah. You know all about that shit that went again, right? So goddamn much. About what now? Tomodachi Life? Yeah, Tomodachi Life. How there was the uh, entire shit that was going on with the gay people in games, and they were fucking losing their shit. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, if I remember right, somebody linked me to the beginning of that. Some guy had asked... Oh, am I thinking the right thing? Where some guy had asked them to put in the option to have like, gay marriage or something? Yeah. Well, the, the game is out. And they exclude 
sex relationship, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, everyone's up in arms, and really, Nintendo just decided to say, yeah, well, we'll think about it in the future, but probably not, right? And so now everyone are ending up giving or boycotting Nintendo products because that's going to do a whole fucking lot, right? So they're, uh, who, but who's boycotting them? Hey, it's Some, the same people not buying them, right? I mean, these are just people who want to throw a piss fit and get attention, but <laughs> well, exactly, you know, exactly, it's really fucking retarded. But Nintendo's taking point of it, and oh god, I think they're doing an E3 thing on it. Which is going to be an entirely different ball game all the way. Round I ask that the uh, Hodgepaka be in Tomodoshi life. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I, like I said, I, I was familiar with the beginning of it, but not uh, not much after that. I wasn't really paying attention to Tomodachi life. Yeah, it's, it's like it, it's like a thing where you can make relationships with our, our character, or you could. But there's no, and so it's like, well, why isn't this? Uh, can, how come there's no like? Gig, you can't have like you know gay uh, friends or gay settings like you know it's like and it's like and the the dev said well we're not like uh, that that we're not up trying to you know emulate social commentary or anything like that and people were just posting oh like well we're not included in this it's like what well, they didn't really set out to ostracize or alienate gay people it's just that's not how they developed the game it's a fucking kids game what do you expect. Mm -hmm. I know. Well, all Jim way. expects is uh, just being able to marry uh, little girls. Hmm. Oh, Both nice. Them. That's uh, that's very nice. That's uh, yeah. that's, that's, that's lovely. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get some chat topics uh, going here. Let me skim through. All right. Oh, what do you, what do you what do you think of the fat neck beard known as the Amazing Atheist? I think he's a master of bananas. Because uh, that <laughs> video, that video is great. They still have that CNN edit. That's up on YouTube of him giving the interview where he's shoving. Or no, no, that's the one where he's burning his te or burning his testicles with hot wax. Oh god, that he's one's got, fantastic. He's got the tiniest dick ever. That's just oh. Is that is that what you were focused on? Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of hard not to notice. It's this tiny little pimple. I'm like, does he got pimple on his dick? It's like, oh, that is his dick. See, now doesn't that contradict itself? You're like, he's got the tiniest dick ever. It's hard not to notice. Well, how are you noticing the tiniest dick ever, Andrew? He was comparing it to the ba banana. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he doing a size comparison, quick uh, on the yeah. fly one. Yeah. Well, we all know what he's about. Uh, opinions know. on uh, Sweden? Anybody? Anybody got an opinion on Sweden? Well, besides the fact that they're probably one of the most progressive countries out there, not really. They got good chocolate, I guess. Oh, well, Sweden's pretty cool. They've got a lot of good things going for them, but I think maybe they take it a bit too far with some of the. What, what were they doing? Okay, I figured it out finally. Fucking Google Hangouts. Didn't they end up, um, what was it? Didn't they end up letting you claim as a transgendered on your fucking, what's the word called? I've completely lost my mind right now. Uh, good right. thought, good, uh, good statement. <laughs> <laughs> that was lightning right lightning oh. fucking conversation. Huh. You can claim transgendered on your legal documents. You can say your own pronouns now. And they teach that in fucking schools right now. Uh, they, they say that you can be transgendered in school and they'll completely support that. Seriously. Seriously. I read this ages ago, though. I don't know if it's... Uh, Wait, they're teaching that in school? What grade? I think as long as three. Jesus. Uh, yes, Alec156. Sweden, yes. Obviously the land of milk and honey. <laughs> and Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> Yeah, Sweden is a, a glorious country with what? It's got 9 million people and 1.3 of them are immigrants. I'm sure that's going to end smashingly, especially with the majority now coming from Iraq and <laughs> was it Nigeria. <laughs> Someone oh. actually asked something uh, that, I, that I've been wanting to touch on, the Haven incident on 4chan. What do you think of it? Are you talking about the uh, mod? Yeah, the mod. Yeah, wow. I, see, I, I didn't get moots. Uh, like his posting on that, he said, oh, the guy was... Uh, out of here well before the OUYA thing and the EA, he was like on the tail end of that. But then on his application, he listed currently up until like, what was it, December of 2013? Yeah. That was really weird. Uh, like, why would you say just two months? Um, and I don't think it was because it, that fucking name, what is it, Haven Lukenbill? Yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, do you really think he was the mod that was doing all of that shit? I, I don't know. I mean, Moots, Moots lied before about st certain things, but it was always kind of like a lies of omission. I don't think he'd completely lie about it. I, I don't know. He wouldn't have a reason to. He could just be up front. But I, I think 
I don't think it was Haven, no. I think it was somebody else. Do you think we actually have some sort of SJW infestation, if you will? There are probably a few mods like that, yeah. Um, I could think of boards that they'd be modding uh, <laughs> that, yeah. that would fit, you know, fucking suit them perfectly. Uh, but yeah, there are probably a few in there, and there's probably you know cause for concern, but I don't think it was Haven that did it. Um, I think Moot wrote a really weird post, but I don't think it was Haven that did it. Yeah, I thought so too. When I saw the sticky on V like a week ago, I did notice that it was rather vague for him. He usually is up front. That's what's kind of that's what's made me uh, think about it and wonder if he's covering. Well, and the thing too is, I mean, remember what happened on Q with A? Uh, you know, they, the Naruto mod, they were sure it was Rape Ape. You know, they doxed him, they got, you yeah. know, constantly <laughs> spread it everywhere. It's Rape Ape, it's him, we know it's him. And then it really turned out to be somebody else. All right, well, Frank Drebin wants to recap on exactly what happened on all of the 4chan things. Yeah, I would like that too, because I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. Uh, okay, well, basically, it was part of Tomodachi life, wasn't it? Yeah, those threads were getting shut down. Every time someone would post about how there was Tomodachi, the entire shit that was going on with Tomodachi life, someone would delete all the posts, and eventually it ended up people were deleting just random posts in the thread, and it was getting really fucking annoying uh, to the point where people were complaining and flooding the board. Wait, let me just clarify. Tomodachi life, that game coming out for the 3DS? Yeah. And so, well, because... There's no gay sex in it, or anything of same-sex <laughs> anything. What a strange argument, man. Uh, it, that, that sounds weird now that you say it like that, but <laughs> there's no sure? gay sex in this game. Are they positive about that? Have they seen the fucking trailers for this game? No gay, gay sex for kids. For it? No, wow. <laughs> I would kind of question that. No hardcore anal for a little Timmy. You know? He's out <laughs> of luck. Exactly. So because of that... Everyone was up in arms about it because they were trying, like I said, to boycott the fucking game, and V was wanting to talk about it, and someone would not let them talk about it. The same shit happened with Animal Crossing, but that's an entirely different beast altogether. Well, no, I mean, I Wait. saw that happening because they went to poll. I mean, people were posting on poll talking oh. about it, saying that there was a VMod on a rampage. Um, Nintendo, so I saw created, that. Nintendo created technology for the Wii U controller so you can't draw penises of any kind. Like, it literally can detect the fucking shape or something, so you can't do it, period. So what happens if you want to just really, that, then if you really want to paint uh, bananas? Like, what are you going to do yeah. then? You have to convince it that it's a banana. So you can never draw a broom, because they'll think you're a black man with a very large <laughs> record. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know about you, but if you go on the Miiverse now, there's lots of dicks everywhere. Yeah, that's true, actually. God, could you imagine the parents... The pro parents are probably the ones drawing I it, love getting drunk at night, playing fucking I, Mario. The thing <laughs> I love about it, though, is like random memes will show up when you fire up the Wii U, and you'll see that shit sometimes completely at random. They don't have to be your friends. They just show up completely out of nowhere. You'd be like, what the fuck? It was like 2 a.m., and um, I was going to play Mario for like I don't know, half oh, yeah, yeah. an hour, and fucking right. there it was, and I was like, what the fuck? Well, fucking, basically, Nintendo, it's a, all a cultural thing, because here in America, people go up in arms with gay people, they have to be treated special, they can't be treated like the rest of us, because that's all they really fucking want, is to be treated special. They want it to be treated like regular human beings. Well, they've already fucking got that, it's not like it's um, as much of a, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, done Blinder? again. Couch? Yeah. <laughs> no, neither of those. It's not scuba a scuba gear. Or, or yes, it's, it's not a scuba gear. No, it's not much of a a social problem to be gay so much anymore. People will just well. Be speaking gay. of uh, gay, not ordinary in games, asks, uh, what are your opinions on co? Well, co, co. Well, they started My Little Pony. That's for sure. <laughs> now I I know. Uh, Marco, uh, I know you're a big fan of uh, Co. What what attracts you to the board the most? Because <laughs> you know I was gay. You know, just that once. once. Sp sp oh, speaking of uh, Marcus, apparently uh, a few fans in the uh, in the chat have said, "Is that Armic?" And yes, yes. Oh it, God, I hate that fucking name. It's he is formerly Armic. He is haunted by that shit. The artist man. formerly known as Armic. <laughs> He uses a little print symbol as his name. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. My favorite, my favorite thing from the Armic days is the avatar I'm using right now. I forget who drew that, but that never fails to crack me up. 
Mr. So I thought Fig that was is, a spy. Uh, oh my why, God. why is course or why is Co so horrible? Uh, I, I would I have no leave idea that, I, I would leave that to its board culture and uh, and modding efforts that have taken place on Co. It's, it's not as bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not as bad as Lit. Nothing will be as bad as Lit. Oh, I have yeah. never been to Lit, and I don't think I ever will because of all the elitism. You there. should probably go one time just just so you can see what it is, and then leave as fast as you came in. That's what I, people I, said about R9K. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> well, no, I felt I, I okay, thought that enough. was going to be good when it started up. I you know was on the board a lot, but man, it went down south real quick. Well, wait, R9K? No, 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 Lit. Oh, well, yeah, but. You know, the only board I've actually ever seen, and even this by 4chan standards is good, so you have to take this with a grain of salt, but VP is still decent as far as the actual information that go through that shit. But See, right, I, I've never never once been on that board. All right, I'll, bite, I'll bite, though. What the hell is Co? Maybe. Comics and cartoons. Oh, okay. I could not fucking remember. I see a lot of people bringing up TG in the chat. Um... I, I, I fucking love uh, humanity fuck yeah stories. Like, um, yeah. <laughs> I know that's that's like TG's thing, or at least that's where I've seen a lot of the stories come from. Uh, I fucking love those stories. Those are great. Um, I still, I don't know, I reference the old threads, like the Mr. Bones Wild Ride one. That shit will forever crack me up. That was amazing. That was just beyond awesome. DFG? I don't think of it. Is DFG even a board? What is DFG? I don't even know. I've never even heard of it. I've, I'm, you know, I stick mainly to the boards I'm on. I don't know if he's fucking with me or if that's actually something. The hell could DFG be an acronym for? With all the shit that gets added onto this website on well, the daily clearly basis. Well, clearly DFG is don't fuck gays. Oh, is that, is <laughs> that the new board they threw up? Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Moot's trying to make a really strong point. Well, like the last new board I was at was Biz, and like you know, um, that was a majority of fucking uh, threads about Bitcoin. <laughs> Oh, I thought I was slash bit. Oh my god. No, it, 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 the whole front page uh, when I was on Biz, it was like Bitcoin after Bitcoin after Bitcoin thread. Either people making fun of Bitcoins or people defending them or talking about where the stock was or what the value was or if it was a commodity or, you know, like it just, it never stopped. So. Mount Gox was a, uh, the bankruptcy was a false flag. Oh Christ. That's I mean, right. I remember yeah, when it was I read a, false, into... a false flag, yeah. I remember when I finally got up my ass and read about bitcoins, and I was just sitting there, and I was like, "What the fuck did I just read?" Did you read the uh, was, was it the uh, Newsweek article that that chick uh, wrote about? Yeah, I got. To, I went from I was bouncing from article to article, and then I got to that, and I was like, "What? What am I doing? What am I reading about? <laughs> <laughs> like, what am I? Why am I doing this?" Sudden moment of clarity. Exactly. Had an epiphany, and I was like, "Okay, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going out." Okay, Jim, someone has been asking this question since you've started the stream. Do you have a girlfriend and wife, and does she eat the poo-poo? Uh, oh, no, she Jesus does not. She Christ. does not eat the shit. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not married, and I'm not dating at the moment. And my last girlfriend was not a shit eater, at least as far as I know. We had reasons for breaking up. <laughs> Dunking your head in the toilet wasn't one of them. <laughs> Always confused when you heard laughing sounds, like, oh, I don't have a dog. <laughs> oh, that's oh, I also like to bring up uh, douche coins. Like, well, again, <laughs> like, I, I would never put my money into Bitcoin or any of the other currencies that are out there, Litecoin, any of them. Uh, it just doesn't feel secure. I want to be able to either take my money out at a moment's notice and use it to buy something. I don't feel like I can do that with Bitcoins. I get it. People are like, oh, put your money in. It's going to raise up in value, and then you can use it, and you know, more businesses will adopt it. But there's like, what, one fucking ATM in Canada and a fucking coffee shop that will let you use Bitcoin credits. <laughs> I Seriously. You, I bet you Jules uses that ATM. He probably does, but it, it, it's, it's that, and there are like a few sites that will sell high-end cars or properties, but it's just it's so limited. And when you have all this negative press coming out talking about how Mont, you know, Mount Gox went under and federal investigations and money laundering and just all this other nefarious mm -hmm. shit, like it's just why would I ever put my money into that? I'm I'm fucking dumb when it comes to stocks and bonds, man. Yeah, that's like Bitcoin's a level above that. I'm not fucking with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good thing I never once put my money into that shit then, because I almost did. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this true? From John Peterson, Jewish coin is sponsored NASCAR for all you hillbilly. <laughs> 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 that I would like... be that would be fantastic. Oh, random note here. Did anyone see the uh, live stream 
snippet of Watch Dogs that just recently got leaked. Was that the one that's up on Vimeo? Yeah, it was, but it got taken down. Yeah, it was like 54 yeah. seconds, though, but it looked all... It was not It was like a fucking pre-rendered cutscene. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, there was actually a full-on, like, hour-half video that was up yep. on fucking they, Vimeo. They ganked that fucking video where they oh, tried to, but it was... All I saw was videos. 60 seconds. It was like a 60-second trailer, but it was up on Vimeo. So I thought that, that game, was what everybody was talking about. That game looks it, like shit compared to what they originally showed. Yeah, it looks... It's just fucking um, GTA, basically, with some hacking. I have to say, GTA Five looks better than that. Definite Assassin's Creed. I, I just want to know if they still have the HIV scanner in there. No, that's gone. <laughs> no. Oh, well, then what's the point? <laughs> you, uh, really? <laughs> all your dreams <laughs> gone. It just it goes right into Shadowhawk after that. Yeah. So have you guys seen the, uh, <laughs> the new clips of the uh, the new Wolfenstein game? Have you seen how the AI is dumber than Alio Colonial Marines? No, no, I saw that. No, there was a, a web. How is that even fucking possible? There was a web M in one of the threads, and it showed he like he he went through a window in like a, a I don't know where it was. It was some office building or like a precinct or something, and then he he like used a torch that you're supposed to use to cut through walls to hit the guy in the face, but it didn't kill him. So he just kept torching him in the face, and <laughs> then like, when the this... when the enemy went to stab him, he stabbed him three times, and then torched two other guys in the face. So what is this like that fucking game where I beat the tank to death with like melee combat yeah. or some shit? Oh, yeah, Jesus. it's gonna it's worst, gonna bomb. Worst fucking AI I've seen. It's it was a toss up between Aliens, Colonial Marines, a uh, Thief, and what's that other fuck? A uh, Call of Duty on the Vita. Those are the three I've seen that have the absolute worst AI. The fact that there was a Call of Duty on the Vita is horrible. Oh, the by the way, uh, Killzone on the Vita has some of the best AI I've ever seen. Is sad too. Yeah, Snazzy Pierre. Um, I am a horrible Nazi Jew. Um, and that makes me a terrible bigot. Obviously, I want to kill myself. <laughs> but, are you, but are you going to fuck any chinks when you're over in uh, Thai world? James Russell demands... Uh, well, a- Asian women are the, games. Are, are the superior choice. Obviously, I'm going to uh, have uh, hot, uh, hot sex with lots of Asian women. That's, that's but, my game plan. Well, you, well, you got to be careful over there because they're kind of like Native Americans from like hundreds of years ago. Where the fuck do you think I'm moving? <laughs> <laughs> No, but no, I, I say it because like people, uh, people uh, usually didn't live past thirty, and so when Jeez. chicks were chicks were fifteen, they looked like they were I don't know, like in their twenties, thirties. But uh, you gotta watch yes. out because Thailand, last, you never know. What was the last game that was? Uh, no, but shit. how does that make them like Native American from like, two hundred years ago? What the fuck are you talking about? They're like well, coins. You gotta uh, think of them like that. Well, it's an it's an age thing. You know, you can never really tell like you know what kind of girls are uh, legal and not legal because if you're like because you're what was it Taiwan Thailand you're going. I wouldn't want to wind up in one of those prisons. Do you understand this? Like, it sounds like it's an attraction at Disney yeah. World or something. It's like a thousand miles apart, man. What the this fuck? is a small world here. Well, it's, it's the same fucking thing. You know, it's like the United States, Ukraine. Same fucking thing. You at the beginning. Well, all right, I, I have a serious topic. Just because someone asked me ages ago, or well, someone rather asked the stream ages ago, and I was just oh. trying to figure it out. What do you guys think about them trying to cap e-cigarettes, making them illegal in uh, buildings they, and stuff? They want to make them fucking illegal so they could sell more cigarettes. Because if they lose well, tax money, they make off cigarettes. They're, they're fucked. Well, and for Marco, it's actually because they explode all the time. Yeah. Well, that's just because he has great hair form. Yeah, I have really bad luck. No, I, I think it's stupid. I think e-cigarettes, uh, they don't. There's no what's a health risk. It's a person inhaling nicotine and, uh, you know, exhaling. I, uh, I actually, vapor. I quit. I quit. vapors are dangerous for people. Okay. You're yeah, but there's, there's, there's no smoke. You're not burning anything that's carcinogenic. It's completely it's fine. It's fucking water vapor, and they made up all these bullshit stories about how oh, we don't know what's in the chemicals. You mix it yourself. Which, you buy which it the chemical it shit where everyone is talking about antifreeze and shit like that, and it's like, no, it just has components of that. It doesn't it's, mean it's that shit. What, yeah, are you, exactly. what are you getting on about? What the fuck? It's like, no, half, I, it's like half the crap we eat and drink. If you analyze what's actually in it, I'm pretty sure you'd find the same shit anyway. No, the only interesting thing I find about e-cigarettes is it's going to move the discussion when you're talking about a commercially available addictive substance. Now you have nicotine, which you can smoke just like a cigarette. There are no bad mm-hmm. chemicals in there with it. So is it okay to make it legal even though you know it's completely addictive, but there are no negative health connotations to using it? Yeah. So it's a completely different conversation. I don't think people want to have that. I think that's Pretty what much, the yeah. issue is. You know what was you know what was even better than that when I saw it and I couldn't believe it? Fucking powdered alcohol. 
just literally add it to food or just snort it in your drink. That you was could a snort thing. it and get drunk. You could snort it. You literally apparently will get drunk five minutes or less after doing so. And they want to make that. Or you could just vaporize it. It literally looks like you know when people buy like Kool Aid packs and shit and they just pour it in a drink. It looks just like that. They had to remark. They had to bring it back to the wherever the fuck they're making it because they have to change the packaging because it looks too friendly for kids apparently. Now, why do people keep asking in the chat stream? What about secondhand smoke? I mean, you, uh, if you understood how the cigarette, uh, how the nicotine's vaporized, like there, there's no secondhand smoke. It's not. Yeah, when you use an electronic cigarette, you, it's literally water vapor. It's, it's, it's if you ever stand out in the rain, it's the same shit basically. Well, yeah, not like, even that. These cigs thing... don't smell. There's no. There's nothing. It's just. The person gets their nicotine and nobody else has any effect whatsoever. That, that's right, Max Volter. I'm I'm shilling e-cigs. That's, that's well, here's the thing, money. and this is what blows me away. You know, look, you can be ten years old to buy an e-cig. You know what? You know where the problem with e-cigs came from? The fact that there were so many different flavors, and they immediately the politicians jumped on it, like, "Oh, it's flavored now. Now a five-year-old's gonna want to smoke this fucking thing." That's bullshit. It was bullshit with cigarettes, flavored cigars, and other things. Well, that depends. Are there any shit. flavors like Scooby Doo grape? Flintstones <laughs> <laughs> orange. Well, like, considering <laughs> no, just like fucking vitamins. <laughs> Wasn't this there, car- ages ago? Wasn't there? Weren't there kids who were like ODing on the fucking Flintstones vitamins or some shit? Oh, oh yeah, God, if you, are, if you eat a pill that. bottle full of fucking vitamins, yeah, you're gonna have a <laughs> yeah. bit of a problem. That's impossible, Jim. That that's no. It's just I, I, what the fuck, man. It's, it's very. It's, I don't know. I, parents, I fucking. I quit it's very it's very problematic. problematic. Actually, right. I actually, uh, hey, I just asked this question, but I'll go ahead and ask it again uh, because it's a good topic for discussion. Uh, what do you cool guys think about Reddit's red pill board and the manosphere in general? What, Andrew? <laughs> Since you're, uh, you're the head of the Manosphere, why don't you answer it? <laughs> you know, I, I think I saw that in Magic the Gathering, but I'm not enough of a fag anymore to really remember. <laughs> Let me think about it. I'll, I'll say this. I can't even get on Reddit. I tried just to check it out to see how bad it was. That fucking user interface <laughs> is probably the out. worst thing I've ever seen. Well, it's a Dig 2.0. That's all it is. <laughs> I, I myself, I, I just don't use a site, um, so I don't know what the red pill board is like. Um, from what I heard, isn't it mostly in relation to like dating and shit? It's not even, it's not the same well, kind of red pill information that you think you get from like, a poll or something. Well, Jim, come on, you have to consider the blue pill board as well. And, and then, as for like the manosphere, I'm guessing you're talking about like the the MRA <laughs> blocks and shit like that. Again, that's not uh, like uh, it's not something I'm familiar with, so I don't know. That's the honest answer. Uh, good night, live rare. Have a, have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Teal has been asking this like constantly. Yeah, I just saw it pop up like three times. Oh, Jim, they hate us so much. Three or four, three or four. The chat is amazing. The amount of like, get these fuckers out of here is, is mind blowing. Oh, fantastic! It's good to know that you guys are going over well. All right, are right. Christian morals for the best moral, or are Christian morals the best morals? Are Christian morals the best morals? Are Christian? Okay, I, get, I think I get the fucking question. I like the one with Marcus's name right in between it, the swastikas. Oh. Yeah, where is that? I just saw it. <laughs> I just saw it. Yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, so, answer. What do you guys think? Are Christian morals the best morals to have? No, well, clearly you should be able to sell anyone for uh, animals, pretty much. Yeah. Your own kids, if you have to. Your morals and the best. Yeah. L. Hurley keeps saying, "Gone home, best game ever." Uh, I don't. <laughs> I was I like, didn't. I hated it for the wrong reasons. I thought there was going to be a Shyamalan twist where you were dead the whole time and you were a ghost. <laughs> I was fascinated. There's conspiracy <laughs> books lying around the fucking house about JFK, and I'm a big conspiracy <laughs> nut. And it uh, turns out, oh, your sister's gay and ran off because your parents are fucking cunts and they don't agree with gay life. And I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Hey, do you want to spoiler that? Okay, maybe there's some people out there that want to <laughs> ruin it all. You ruin you know, it. You're gonna also say the that we're the highest way to go there. <laughs> there, I saved you twenty bucks or eleven bucks, depending on if you bought it on sale or not. God, you're yawning, yeah. even giving us a summary of the fucking story. <laughs> <laughs> That's how boring it is. <laughs> I don't like how they advertised it because they made it seem like it was going to be before all the press came like out about it. Like horror themed or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they kept no. trying that too because I played it because I thought it was a horror game and I got all the way through it and I was like having fun piecing together the fucking story and I got into the basement and I took the cross off the wall and all the fucking lights went off and it was all spook and shit and then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, hey, by the way, your, your sister's gay and immature and also a the, bitch, which you take no one seemed to notice. Wall? Yeah, if you take the cross off, I don't remember anymore. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. I'm sorry. We got all these fucking questions running through. Rose the nose. Are you no guns? 
Uh, no, actually, I was at the range today taking. Uh, <laughs> no, no, taking pistol lessons to get become a better shooter. So I'm not no guns. Andrew, on the other hand, is a filthy fucking New York liberal. Mm. So he probably <laughs> the mere mention of the word guns probably makes him fucking piss himself. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Keep your guns out of out of uh, public. The only and cops just, should have guns. Just so the chat knows, his full name is Andrew Shekelstein. So <laughs> yeah. insult when he talks politics with you. Oh God. Oh yeah. Someone keeps asking, and we keep ignoring it. Are you ever going to continue the insanity series on YouTube? Yeah. Um, I, well, I wanted to do other videos uh, like that, but. I'm so far behind on everything. Um, it'll just piss people off if I say I'm working on it and then I don't get it out in like a week. Well, but I yeah, remember, I, w I want to do more. I remember you expressed interest on uh, like Game Dude's recent uh, psychotic break. Well, Cause yeah, because the guy takes Wait. two hours to play with fucking dinosaurs in a park in Canada <laughs> because, his girlfriend, because his girlfriend dumped him. And like he's putting up suicide notes and shit. Like I, I'm convinced that he has killed people at this point and that he's on the run. <laughs> To be honest, that was a great fucking two-hour video because I remember I came home from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. That movie fucking sucked. And then I see this video, Whoa. and I'm like, oh, th this wow. was way... And, and I'm like, holy shit, this dinosaur video actually made up for, like, you know, the two hours I wasted in the it's theater. It's like a Christmas present, pretty much. How do, what where, the where fuck do, I do you get mean? to this video so I can watch this epic? Uh, Andrew, do you have a link to it in case people in the chat want to see it? you want to post it in the chat? Oh, yeah, I put it on my uh, channel. I called it The Land Before Time Part 17. <laughs> <laughs> No, because he's on. Someone said Spider-Man 2 sucked. Yeah, that would be uh, Shekel's scene over here. Well, yeah. before we ruin it for everybody, let's just move on. Oh, we're going to have to discuss that later. Spoiler, spoiler, uh, spoiler, uh, spoiler uh, Gwen, 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 Gwen Stacy, she's a lesbian and runs off with uh, Mary Jane at the end. And she dies, I heard, but that's no, totally No, does Gwen, does, does Gwen's sister find a diary uh, of her sister of Gwen's <laughs> talking about at the end of a two-hour fucking journey? <laughs> you have to listen to shitty ass improv music. Oh god, there's a fucking code in that game where it replaces all the dialogue in the level with a cat's meow. <laughs> it's honestly a fucking improvement. You know what? I will, I will replay it. it. I will replay it just for that. <laughs> yeah, but if you think about it, you're just replacing the entire game with pussy. Oh, that, that's, that's great! I, I can't I put can, the link to the. Uh, the Dino movie. That's no, no, no. Just, uh, just link it in the comment section. It should let you do that uh, on the actual video that's live streaming right now. Yeah. Okay, why there is, we go. Why is everyone saying Jello versus pudding? Obviously, pudding is the best. See, that's yeah. what I'd expect a communist to say. Um, <laughs> clearly, <laughs> Jello. Yeah, I don't think you'd mix, you know, alcohol with pudding too well. It'd probably be weird. It would be, okay. it would be you know what? I'm going to take the high road here. I'm going to say Nutella. Fuck both of them. Wow, you eat that shit? That's like spackle for poor people's houses. <laughs> <house. laughs> <laughs> no, I don't eat that shit. No. Oh my god. It's so <laughs> it's just all over the fucking walls. That's how they glue together mud huts in Africa. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> just Nutella. I couldn't think of anything else. I was trying to think, what the fuck else could he throw out? Fucking Nutella? Really? That was the first Isn't that what that, that uh, what was that, that guy with the glasses guy who ate like two buckets of that shit a day? Oh, Sean, somebody oh, ate oh, two yeah. buckets of that. <laughs> he, he, he ate like two buckets of fucking Nutella. How, yeah, that, how is that even possible? Have you seen how big he is? No, <laughs> no, I have wait, not. Wait, wait, I don't wait. want to. That's horrible. I was kidding. You're, around. you're talking about how people can eat shit. I'm fucking minimum wage meals, dude. That's right. You yeah, you eat normal Nutella. Right, you eat normal human food, not fucking construction spackle. I, I guess that's my next <laughs> video then. <laughs> Good God, man! But yeah, yeah, Sean Foss is he dead now, or is he still alive? He's still alive. He's uh, I think he's twenty three or twenty four. Uh, had a had no, no. I eat him at metric tons, not age. How many hard times <laughs> he's had at this point in time? I don't know. I I still like uh, me and some buds. We have a bet going. He'll be dead by thirty. I mean, like he he bought like a, a week's worth of uh, KFC food one night. He's like, I'm gonna consume this all. No regrets. I seriously thought you were kidding around about the Game Dude video, but oh my god. No, it, it's true. He put up a shit ton of, uh, he put up like a, um, a vid where Alana was being, uh, uh, she was having a, a police interview done, and uh, yeah, and he's posted stuff, um, wow, yeah, like where he's on the beach with a, he was on a beach with a Mai Tai and a Playboy energy drink. What and the he, fuck? See, he's why watching would you focus... surveillance videos. Right, why would you focus on those videos? He's got videos of him chasing around wildlife. Yeah, like... <laughs> Ra I haven't seen anything raccoons and eggs forever, so it's like... <laughs> He's talking about how sexy the geese were. You sexy, sexy goose. And... 
Well, we know he's how he's, he's going to shoot. kill somebody. I mean, he's going to be a spree killer. You know that's going to fucking happen. Absolutely. Halfway there. I even asked him straight up, you're not going to kill her, are you? And he's like, lol, no. It all starts with sheep, Andrew. I just, I don't know what happened to the guy. How you go from being dumped to stalking a woman halfway across the country and planning her murder. Oh, he's easy. gone you, you crazy. Your, yeah, you lose your fucking mind. Yeah, he said he, he went to Vegas, he went to California. He said he's going to Mexico uh, next, which uh, I wouldn't advise, but hell, he'd go out with a bang. Well, he probably already did. He's probably burying the body there. That's why he's going to fucking Mexico. Why, why would you bury the body? Just throw it in the ocean. I don't know. Her breast implants would make her float or something. Uh, Does silicone even float? I don't know. That's a question for a scientist. Marco? I have no idea. I was reading a comment. I was thinking me and Andrew should swap avatars, and then I could just give the illusion that you could pretend it's Ray Romano and Kermit the Frog, and one is strangling the other one to death. God damn it. Hey. <laughs> right. Well, back to the question. Uh, Admiral Nova uh, asked, uh, lost me entirely. what are your thoughts on the rise of Islam and Sharia law in Europe? <laughs> <laughs> The praise a law, I think, is uh, is the correct terminology there. Just no. Yeah. no won't you get court-martialed for saying that? Isn't that like a capital punishment? No, no. Obama doesn't know yet. He, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I forgot. You got to give him a week or two. Say hi to the NSA agents for me. <laughs> oh, well, well. They said you need to cut down about uh, your little child porn ring. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Uh, what about yeah, the drug yeah. smuggling and uh, human slave trafficking? Is that it, okay? Actually, apparently, in comparison, that's a lot uh, better than, you know, fucking little kids, I guess. Yeah, weird weird uh, priorities. What are you going to do? <laughs> it's what the U.S. does. It's... Uh, so, uh, any thoughts on Sharia law in Europe there, gentlemen? No. no. Not really. Not particularly, if I'm to be completely honest. I'll go if it's this faggot shit. God, you are all so boring and liberal. Uh, Sharia, Sharia, Sharia law in Europe. You've got all this mass, you know, migration of uh, people from North Africa and the Middle East coming into European countries. I mean, look at France oh, with Generation uh, Identité or whatever the hell it is. Are the Moors invading Sicily again? Oh, I wasn't sure what you were talking about. Oh, okay. And then yeah. you, you've got stuff like uh, you, you've just got parties all over Europe that are responding to this, you know, mass immigration and not liking it. Yeah, the Labour Party lie to Britain and basically say, well, they're not coming to take your jobs, but let's import four million people and hopefully that'll fix the job market. You got Sweden with 1.3 million out of nine million, which is uh, like the percentage is just getting huge. It's fucking crazy, and they're all coming from the same region. So if these countries think that having an open door immigration policy is going to have a positive result, <laughs> no. Man, not at all. No, it's gonna, not. They're going to make it the fucking Sweden uh, caliphate. You know what I mean? They're, like the king of Islam is going to be fucking dancing around there. <laughs> look, look what happened to the king of Sweden. They, they had an immigrant living with them. And the fucking guy is like 19 and they put him up. He steals the crown jewels, hucks a couple off the bridge, sells the rest for drugs. I think I saw, I saw that. I think I fucking... Wow. That, was, that was a show. I saw that show. Yeah, that was Sesame Street. That was an uh, episode <laughs> from 1982. <laughs> <laughs> Big Bird was running around with a sword, a curved one, screaming Allah Akbar. <laughs> shit I'm pretty sure you in mean fear. scimitar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. I don't you use know. those cultural Marxist words like scimitar, alright? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sword. I'm sorry. Obama say, taught me well. You say Stephalophagus, but you won't say scimitar. Mm -hmm. well, that, uh, that, that's his name. Yeah. <laughs> Stephalophagus is. I haven't heard name. that name in like. Jesus Christ, it's about 20 years. Till keeps going on about the Patriot Act. What about the Patriot Act? a couple people that posting the same shit over and over again. Well, I find it funny. What was it? Uh, Operation American Spring, right? Where they had like two people show up. And oh, they're yeah. All, they're all angry about all the shit going on, but they couldn't really cohesively voice that before they sent out the party invites on Twitter. But, <laughs> uh, like, the Patriot Act should be making people angry. Uh, all these different acts that are going through uh, yeah, no, definitely. are, are ridiculous abuses of power. The fact that people aren't angry about it is stunning. It reminds me of class, like, I remember being a kid, and they'd always ask you this question back, you know, when you're little and you're learning about World War II, and they tell you how terrible the Holocaust was, and how, mm -hmm. could, how could German citizens let things like that happen if they knew about it? Uh, well, I mean, look at, yeah. you know, look at a real situation. We've got uh, all these people in America, all these acts are getting passed, all these laws are getting passed, Nobody gets and they're, they're not doing anything. They're apathetic to it. It's gradual. It's slow. That's a trick. You fuck people slowly, and they don't feel the pressure. <laughs> Uh, Rick Shortrick asks, "Hey Jim, why are you always offline on Steam? I can't invite you to play video games like that." I should be. I should be <laughs> offline right now, aren't I? Yeah, you are. Yep. 
Oh, I got a... Oh, shit. I should probably answer these. I didn't even notice I had friend requests come in. So, what do you think, Jim? Is Adolf Hitler an overrated villain? Yes, Hell I think yeah, Adolf he Hitler is. He kind of is. I mean, Stalin and Mao, I mean, they, they should be front and center, but they're always living Hitler's shadow. It's not fair. Well, I mean, they, the reported number on the Holocaust that you keep being told is 6 million, right? And they attribute that to Hitler. Yeah. But didn't 7.3 million starve to death in Ukraine during World War II? That is yeah. true. And that was like in a it's, period of a year and a half. I don't know if it's that exact number, but yeah, pretty much. It was a well, fucking They, they didn't have any Jews to eat. I mean, what else do you think they were going to eat? No, but seriously, Stalin killed his own people. Yeah. He fucking, for well, no reason, for simply sneezing, he killed like eight people. Uh, yeah, well, he shot him in the head, like point blank, many of them. Just right. you know, fucking to hell of it. it and he had a lot of people uh, photoshopped out of uh, pictures in history books. Yep. I don't understand why Stalin was okay, but Hitler is the downfall. Hitler was Mussolini's and a piece of shit. Fucking it's just they all get ignored. Hitler gets Hitler gets front page because it was the most. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? We were prominent. He was uh, trendy. Not hit. prominent. Um, he looked sharp in that Hugo Boss outfit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a lot of the other a lot of the other facts and information just almost ignored at points. Well, that's what that's what bothers me because he did have more of a rap. Stalin had more of a rap than uh, um, what was Hitler, but we never went to war with Stalin. We had a Cold War for sure, but we never really had a huge war with him. So I'm always thinking, like, why why did that happen? You know what I mean? Well, the truth is, our like the the administration in Washington and and the Kremlin. Uh, again, there were parts in history that aren't really talked about. I mean, they talk about the Cold War and how. Ooh. You know, we were, we're at each other's throats, but the fucking Russian premier contacted Nixon when he was in the White House. I mean, there's a, a Chinese officer came forward with a story. It was reported, like, I think three years ago, talking about how, essentially, the Kremlin had contacted Washington and said to Nixon, the Chinese have nuclear weapons. This is too dangerous. Let's go in together on a preemptive strike against them, right? Because Russia and China weren't on good footing. Um, but, like, this idea, like, the, the Cold War and all of this shit... Um, it wasn't that cold. And you're right, but Stalin killed more people. More people died in other situations. Again, like the, the mm -hmm. Ukraine starvings uh, died uh, in such a short period of time. I, I gotta look this up, because I know it was a fucking enormous number. Yeah, I know, it was a massive number. But they don't teach you this in school when they teach you this. Like when they taught me, they, 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 World War II, Hitler. That's all I ever cover is Hitler. They ignore everything else pretty much. Yeah, like, uh, um, like fucking over in Japan, like Unit 731, arguably they did oh, shit wor wor Christ, worse than uh, fucking uh, Mengele was doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Uh, Holodomor, I, mm -hmm. I probably pronounced that wrong, but it says, a drive from killing by starvation was a man-made fam famine in the Ukrainian mm -hmm. Soviet Socialist Republic in 1932 to 33 that killed 7.5 million Ukrainians. So in oh, one year they wiped out a million and a half, or 7.5 uh, million through starvation. That's fucking horrible. And then, of course, we completely ignore what America did, because America. Tale of, tra or trail of tears. Fuck yeah. Yeah. We were all definitely. in the right. Always, definitely. America had, the their, way own we fucking, we had our own fucking concentration camps at points, too. And it's yeah, yeah, Marco, we call them friendly stuff. camps. We're just <laughs> we're we're made, do we know, friendly to Japan. Why don't you just drive that tank over the issue? <laughs> I know, fucking uh, Sulu as a child. He was in one of the camps as a kid. The guy who played Sulu on a uh, what's his Star Wars? He actually went to an acting camp that time. Yeah, like I said, yeah. America, we're doing the best for the people. What were those? I mean, I don't really remember too much. Were they basically concentration camps? They, yeah, they, 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 they were. They were, like, uh, they, they were internment people. camps. They like uh, they were just places where like, oh, you have to live here because you know oh, the Japs bombed us, so we just to be on the safe side. I don't think they killed anyone in the internment camps. I would hope not. Well, if I'm they, just if watching they the chat no scream at each other. I know. Um, isn't it I keep seeing these propaganda bullshit messages. Wilkins coffee <laughs> sucks. Tastes like you know three day year old moldy diarrhea. And that's cafe. Now shut the fuck up. I love. I love how random this fucking chat is. Well, it always is. It's fucking to the internet, Marco. It's amazing. Like, it's really, it's four chan in real time. All right, now something that was. Uh, been asked a, a bunch of times. Now I'm trying to find it again. It was from a guy named Matthew. Uh, what's your George take on the feminist notion of rape culture? Is it legitimate or is it just a means to whip up hysteria on Tumblr? There's no rape culture. I mean, show me anywhere in the, uh, the American, like in our culture, show me anywhere where rape is portrayed as a positive thing. Not, not in Nobody, a, 
Nobody is taught that it's good or that it's positive or that it's loving. Everybody's told how horrible it is from the youngest age they are upwards. There's no aspect of society that applauds or awards rapists for raping people. So to say that there's this like permissive, uh, you know, all-encompassing rape culture is just fucking ridiculous. They show that movie Irreversible um, now in certain co- in certain classes, both in high school and in college. I heard because the rape scene in that is so seems so real. They want people to understand the horror behind it. Versus I know. I almost broke my hand watching it. Hey, now. Oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake. Also, Andrew, but, they didn't get your Star Wars joke. <laughs> but seriously, rape culture is probably the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Like, I, and, I and this, in, in North America, uh, no, not really. In, like, places like Africa or just, like, uh, under impoverished uh, countries, uh, definitely. Yeah, there's, like, fucking rape all over the fucking place. <laughs> remember the nine trillion. I'll make sure to you know remember that every day. The forty-eight quadrillion. That feminism killed the Greeks and the Romans. Okay. <laughs> no, actually, he th- there is a, a yeah. there, there's actually a legitimate point in the fact that societies that become more liberal are oh, usually yeah. in their twilight years. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. That's actually very true. Now, oh, did, I remember telling you about this ages ago, Jim. None of you guys know about it. So you know how there's all this um, gay rights shit and fucking equal equal treatment of everyone like that and all that bullshit that's going on. Guess who else is hopping on this train? Who? Nambla and... Uh, what is it? Nambla and the North American... Sure. Manboy Love Association. Yeah. You know, well, yeah, North American Manboy Association <laughs> and the North games. American Deceased Lovers Association. We deserve equal rights. Well, That's right, Chip. You just, you just want to be friendly with those kids, don't you? Sure. But, but, I mean, it's not even necrophiliacs and pedophiles <laughs> jumping on this train and people are paying attention to them. Oh, well, That's... Yeah. Where this no, is going to go. I just don't want to be an American. <laughs> how, how dare you regulate love, bigot? Stop being a gatekeeper. This toddler and I were meant to be together, obviously. <laughs> as well as this dead woman and that horse. We're all meant to be together. Forever. I just... It doesn't... Fuck, what, what's next? I mean, seriously. Once we once we allow necrophiliacs and pedophiles, what's next? A furry president. <laughs> oh, let's be honest here. I mean, furries... I, I don't mind kicking the shit out of furries, but... Fucking dead people and children probably is worse than being <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I would agree with that. The first dead president would be a really weird uh, decision on their part. What did they have a dead president society? Oh, there we go, Uncle Paul. God damn it, I called you Chip, didn't I? Yeah, oh. you did. I'm sorry, Uncle Paul. That was no, terrible. Did. It's okay. What Let's was see. Andrew actually? What was that movie that you had? Andrew found this link to this movie about that pedophile that went around talking to boys at gas stations. And oh yeah, like, yeah, the gambler <laughs> one. <laughs> He's like, and I felt there was a... He sounded like Paul Lynn, the creepy old fuck. He's like, uh, there was a connection, and uh, it's and just... he's licking his lips the whole time. It's just creepy as what fuck. What the fuck? I invited a boy yeah. on a camping trip, and... <laughs> and he made the first move. Isn't that what he said? He was giving me signals? <laughs> yeah, he did. That fucking voice. The, the kid was asking for it, clearly. And there was... And and there was one guy uh, who lived in an apartment in New York, and there would like be there were like you know dads hanging outside his place, and it's like you know uh, like a die uh, like kid toucher, fuck you, and he's like if there's not he gets messages, he's like you kid fucker, we're gonna kill you motherfucker, and he's like if there's not wrong to love boys, I am not, I would never harm a child. What never. was the uh, what was the name of the video? Do you remember? <laughs> Um, give me a moment. It's it, w- it was on YouTube, but some uh, I think some white knights had to fucking yank it down for. Uh, that was one of the best. That was I swear to God, it was one of the creepiest videos. Like this guy wanted to fuck those kids so bad, he couldn't stop like rocking back and forth and licking his lips every time oh, he talked to children. God. And you could tell if you left him alone with them, he would be fucking <laughs> ramming them in the ass at the <laughs> slightest drop of a hat. Yeah, that sounds disturbing as all fuck. Uh, it was, um, I think it was called Chicken Hawk, the Men Who Love Boys. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think, uh, or something like that. Let me... I don't know if I want to Google that, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a bit much for me. It it's just like it's asking for trouble. <laughs> yeah, I don't know yeah. if that's what I want to add in with uh, gun practice and uh, directions to Washington. It's probably mm-hmm. trifecta that would be not a good idea. 
Well, that and, and you know, child porn, of course. You know, NSA is already halfway to our doors. I, actually, who would actually search actually, that? Uh, who would look up <laughs> child porn while they're looking for child porn? <laughs> I, put in, I put in Chicken Hawk and Google, and I shit you not, one of the first related links that came up was Jesse Ventura on Dick Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, right. Put it in Google. Put Chicken, just put Chicken Hawk and Google. Yeah, Jesse, can you, can you expand on that? What happened with Dick Cheney? Oh, well, uh, Dick Cheney, he had a lot of corporate parties while working for Halliburton, and there was a bunch, they would have lots of uh, kids in there, you know, ass to ass, that whole, that whole thing. <laughs> Is that how that works, Jesse? Oh, absolutely, they would ru lube up with oil and just fuck them, <laughs> fuck little Arab boys in the ass with oil. Was there, were there any reptilians involved? I don't know. It's it's hard to tell who's reptilian and who's not. You got the reptilian, <laughs> and you got the time travelers uh, from uh, 1972 Here. who saw the Trade Center uh, come down in photos from that time. Oh, is that right? That might be it right there. Do you think they Do you think they burned any of the evidence with thermite that they had left over from 9/11? Absolutely. I was a controlled demolition, James. I would know that better than anyone. I was a frogman back in my Navy SEAL days. <laughs> were you now? I also, I also heard you were a governor. Were you a governor? I was. Uh, I was governor of your very state, Minnesota. But I live in Mexico now because I'm off the grid. You know, I was a gay frog once. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, you. That's right, Marcus. You love to play leapfrog. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, oh. That, was, that, was, that was good, Jesse. Thank you for explaining. <laughs> oh, you're very, thank you for your service, Jim. No, is Alex Jones here by any chance? Hold on, let me get him. <laughs> uh, hello. Oh hey Alex, how are you doing? Uh, good, uh, very good, Jim. Uh, how are how are you doing tonight? We're talking about the Illuminati. I heard you had more uh, information about fluoridation of water to control our brains. Oh, uh, absolutely. Uh, one of the things that people call me out on, saying that uh, that uh, juice boxes turn kids gay, that is uh, that is not true. What I was saying is that um, inside the plastic, in some of the cases that hold uh, you know juice boxes, there's a chemical. Which uh, can turn uh, fish. It was actually fish gay. You know, it fucks with their uh, their fair bones and their organs, and uh, it turns them uh, from heterosexual fish into asexual fish. So it makes them gay fish, like Kanye West. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, just like uh, just like Kanye West, although he's married to that uh, that Armenian uh, Armenian bitch whose ancestors uh, exterminated uh, a bunch of their own people. They, they oh, is that that? Is that her history? Speaking of wives, Jesse, I hear you're married to a Jewish woman. Is that? Or I'm sorry, Alex. <laughs> same is that person. True? Yeah, same person. Is that true? Same shit. Oh, uh, well, I've been married to my wife a long time, and uh, we are uh, practicing uh, devout Christians. Uh, and that, that's just that's just uh, nonsense. People just say <laughs> that well, Alex, uh, but there are pictures of you at the synagogue uh, <laughs> donating shekels. So how do you? Uh, that, that, that's all. That is all uh, photoshopped by these. Uh, by these uh, little uh, fucks on these uh, the, the, the anonymous uh, who on the uh, the 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 five chance the nine chance well whatever the uh, <laughs> the eight chance eight chance yeah uh, eight yeah. chance yeah, yeah. that's right. I've been banned from four chan uh, many si times I don't need to be there I've got my own network uh, infowars.com prisonplanet.net uh, visit there where you can go see films like the uh, the Obama deception oh that's a, that's an interesting film. It is. Obama was trained from uh, from birth. Well, to be uh, to be trained from all these uh, people, the last uh, several presidents. Uh, the, the, it's uh, on Jesse's show. They showed uh, one guy said he was teleported back to 1972 <laughs> and saw that uh, George W. Bush, Bill Clinton, and Obama they were uh, tailored um, and they were uh, trained so that to be <laughs> tailored for the like like a suit. They were woven together. Was that by the Bohemian Grove? Uh, I, I believe so, but uh, it, it wasn't called that back then. You see, there's been several Illuminati's. Different ones fall, and different groups are accumulated. And others, they they've had wars with each other. There's not there's not just one. Right now, the one seems secure. They they seem to got the formula down, and the global mega banks, and uh, all that. Uh, they seem to have it all together. That was, that's very interesting. <laughs> exact, exactly. And if you want, um, if you don't want to drink fluoridated water, I have a company. Yeah, even, even your impersonation is making my mind go blank. Like, listen to that for like five minutes. I'm starting to stare off in his face. Yeah, I know. Surprisingly, surprisingly, my voice hasn't really like uh, chafed yet, but uh, it uh, sounds like you're 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 swallowing gravel and trying to speak at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am a lifelong smoker. I've smoked a lot for uh, my life. I've uh, I've inhaled a lot. Yeah, but so, most uh, people smoke a cigarette at a time, not a fucking carton at a time. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I, I don't know. I, I smoked over 911. I, I it just it was it was. <laughs> you lit one for each tower. Is that how that happened? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I smoked two at a time uh, every every year on 911. <laughs> So, uh, Alex, you want to hand the mic back over to Jesse? Just, uh, had a question for him. Uh, sure. Uh, th thanks, guys. Thank you for having me. Uh, uh, don't forget, uh, go to InfoWars.com, uh, PrisonPlanet.net, uh, Alex Jones Podcast. We have 1,000 uh, of you. Give me that, mother. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alex can uh, Alex can, uh, can be a bit of a handful. I mean, uh, yesterday, me and my uh, metrosexual host on my show, Off the Grid, we went out and we got high on peyote, and uh, Alex imbibed a little bit. He had a little bit, uh, he actually uh, swallowed the worm inside the Daquila bottle. And um, The Daquila bottle, okay. <laughs> Good. And he, went, he went on a... He went on a spirit quest, and um, he's still uh, he's sort of he's been detoxing in my uh, my uh, steam room right now on uh, my spa. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. I have a spa down here in my uh, shack in my off the grid Mexico shack. Now, now, Jesse, the chat was curious. Have you ever watched the show Ancient Aliens, and how factual do you believe that is? Oh, I don't. Uh, I I'm not interested. I've never really uh, entertained the fact of the whole the Roswell or the UFO conspiracy. I personally have never seen no six foot tall walking on two legs lizard. <laughs> Is that right? Actually, no, it's it's the uh, chat has, uh, the chat has another question, Jesse. What do you think of Skyrim? Uh, Skyrim. Um, yeah, I, I don't. Um, I, I love that. I th I like James Bond. I'm a huge fan of those movies. I think Daniel Craig is a uh, fantastic uh, James Bond. Is he now? You big, big fan? Of I am. I'm a fan of the old school uh, spy thrillers. You know, secret agent stuff. I was never a secret agent, mainly a military <laughs> man. But I'm proud of my service, and I know that the spies in this world today uh, do. Uh, they they. They do good work in keeping uh, the real stuff doesn't get published. Otherwise, people will be in a panic knowing that all this big stuff that a nuke comes close to going off, but at the last minute, it's averted. Well, well, Jesse. Uh, well, we, we got a question here in the chat. How long is this going to go on? They're talking about the stream. Uh, probably another... How long have we been going on right now? It's going to be two hours. hours. Two, two, hours? two hours. Yeah, we'll go, yeah. We'll go for another 10 minutes, and we're going to uh, we're gonna close it out, I think. Jesse, a lot of people are asking, should private citizens own nuclear bombs? What are your thoughts? I don't think anyone should own nuclear material of that much. I mean, back in the 50s, you could have, you were able to buy an element science set that had some sort of, I don't know, uranium or uh, ultimatum or some sort of element. Yeah, that ultimatum. Yeah, that was it. That was good. Ultimatum <laughs> and balonium and all that. But uh, no, I, I think it's very good. If you don't know how to contain it right, you could wind up, uh, you know, blowing up your house or something, or your your cat will melt, or your child's uh, will get a uh, brain damage. Oh, Jim! Speaking of Cortana dying, look who just came on. Oh well, hey, oh, yeah, I love I love yeah. having my game spoiled. Maybe he can uh, fucking ruin some more for me. <laughs> I, you know, I haven't played the lot uh, the Last of Us, so. Hopefully he'll pop on and tell me everything that happens in that. I can't even find that. I, I have it and I can't find the damn game. Of course, so you sold it, traded it in to get another copy of uh, Gone Home, obviously. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, clearly. Can all right, just these, disappointing you didn't send me the free copy, Marco. Just see, we, we keep getting anger. these two questions. Uh, what's the best programming language and was Rudolf Hess murdered? Which are two completely related questions. So, sure. Rudolf, wait, Rudolf, Rudolf was a reindeer. <laughs> he wasn't real. That, that's right, Santa had enough possible? of Nazi shit and shot him in the head. There you go. Oh my God. It was a hell of a Christmas. <laughs> Best programming language, I'd say, is C++. Or Python. Probably Python. Oh, there you go. Python and C++. Thoughts on Trap, Jim? I don't know, maybe Java. Uh, I'm sorry, thoughts on what? Traps. I uh, don't have thoughts on traps. I'm, the I'm the traps are pretty effective. effective. Yeah, I think they really grasp your leg pretty hard. Well, yeah. no, here, here you got... Ha, ah, very funny. Are traps gay? Is Futa gay? Wait, traps or trapped? <laughs> trapped is a game. <laughs> See, now Marco's avoiding this because he's a frequent <laughs> browser. He's a deviant. He's a frequent browser of D. He just doesn't want to admit it. It's okay. Everybody knows, you know, Armic 21 loves dick girls. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> Which is but weird because... Yeah, I remember him like going on a whole two-hour tangent about it while we were trying to play video games. He just overrode all of us. Dude, that guy in Ace of Spades is pissing me off so much. I just wanted to 
fucking strangle to death. So at that point, I would have said anything. Now, was that when you were digging yourself a hole in the ground or throwing grenades up in the air and catching them with your face? It was probably around one of those times, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she was really pissing me off. Here's my thing. Okay, this is the thing, that I, and I've had arguments with my friends a couple of times. Is Traps gay? Because if you watch porn, you, you've got the guy there, right? But Fuda takes out the entire male aspect, except for the dick. See, this is just like furries, right? Furries have this idea. They get turned... No, no, no. They get turned on by the idea, right? Of like this anthropomorphic creature they can fuck. But if you saw a real, like, furry creature in real life, if, like, something like that was walking around in flesh and fur, you would be screaming your fucking head off in fear. That's a good point. Now, like, when you're talking about, like, foodas, are you kidding me? If, uh, if you've seen a real-life hermaphrodite, like, oh, could you God. imagine being mounted by that and ridden? Is it dressed like a, a fucking kawaii a Japanese or Chinese schoolgirl? There what's you go. That, what's that fucking movie where the, the woman turns out to be a guy in the end? Oh, uh, there's way too fucking many movies like that. No, it's, fa- it's famous. Sleepaway, Sleepaway Camp? No, not Sleepaway Camp, you asshole. No, that's true, though. At the ending scene, it was like or, a naked boy. Was it, was, the, was it the crying game? Crying game. Crying crying game. Yeah. yeah, no, it's the crying game. You're Jesus right. Jesus Christ. Just, just think about it. If you've seen the movie, think about that scene, and then, yeah. Yeah, oh, and the point. The, the chick with the dick in the crying game was also the, um, like, the uh, the alien overlord in uh, Stargate. Get the fuck out of here. I, I kid you not. That's like, those are the only two roles he uh, he did. Oh, man. And then he quit the business. <laughs> Deviants are the best. So hey, Marco, you got, you got fans in here. They're, they're telling you not to be, <laughs> be a deviant. Be a what? A, a deviant. You're a deviant. It's cool. Of course we're part of the PC master race. You know, right? Listen all to right. these console fakes lie their ass off. None of these people own computers. They're all straight <laughs> the off of their Xbox Ones. Don't fucking believe anything they say. The Xbox <laughs> off? Fuck, that was hilarious. Have you seen those videos? Yes. Oh, that was fucking this great. great. See, I don't watch YouTube videos that are recorded in 240p, which is like the <laughs> Xbox One's native <laughs> resolution. <laughs> Oh god! I, I, might actually I can't even one. figure out why anyone would want to play in that resolution. Oh, because you know it's Titanfall or something, and everybody's hyped about it. Tit Anvil. Are I you will say twenty-one forty-two. What the fuck is that? Is somebody getting fucking arrested? <laughs> 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 Mark is going to jail. That's a fire engine, you idiot. You'll never get no, 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 no. I don't know what the fuck happened. NSA oh. is coming for you, Marco. You got to run. By the way, Andrew, somebody was asking on uh, Twitter, uh, Sidut Gamer, or S-I-D-A-U-T, I'm pr- pronouncing it wrong. Uh, I noticed uh, Jim Norton references earlier. Are you guys big fans? Uh, yeah, I like Opie and Anthony. I like Norton. I think he's funny. Yeah, they're, o- O&A is fantastic, and all the comedians they have on are, are the best. I miss Patrice, though. It sucks he's dead. He was good on that show. Yeah, it's just got like every time because because like I know we like we know a few people like who we won't name like you know Pook and uh, car- Carbine car- Carbon car- Carbon Carbonated uh, Soda yeah. Car- <laughs> Carbonated so- Soda Zombie and they and, like whenever whenever you say something it's like oh look S A W they're like oh my god and they just you know that obnoxious thing but whenever oh, whenever, Jesus, whenever I hear something stupid like another S J W thing I always think back to that fucking uh, interview that Patrice did on Fox News where he schooled that woman that always comes to mind and you know what I feel better. I feel way better because I'm knowing they'll never get a... Uh, they're not funny. They don't represent funny. They'll never get their foothold in, uh, in funny. What did he die of again? Was that like a heart attack yeah, or something? Um, diabetes? It was, yeah, it was diabetes. Like he had a stroke and it, he was unable to like speak and impaired his speech and he was paralyzed and then he uh, he died a few few days later. And, God, uh, why is it why is it good comedians die? Like Patrice O'Neill's dead. I was really pissed when Phil Hartman got off by his fucking bitch of a wife. Uh, and the funny thing is there was a, there's an interview on YouTube of Phil Hartman on uh, Howard Stern and he talks about how he's, a, he's attracted to crazy women. And then he goes, but that's changed because I've met my current wife. And then Howard brings her out, and she's the chick that killed him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And you know, the, you could actually sort of make a conspiracy for that, because apparently, like, John Lovitz and uh, Andy Dick, they fucking hate each other. They were both on news radio because John Lovitz replaced, uh, they got him to replace Phil, Phil Hartman. Hartman. Yeah. Phil Hartman. And apparently they had a confrontation at a restaurant where Andy Dick, like, I don't think they really fought each other, but maybe they did, like, a slap thing where Lovitz was like, get the fuck away from me. And Andy, uh, Andy Dick's like, I put, I put the news radio vex curse on you and it's kind of implied that um, Andy Dick because he he's a user he like he relapses a lot that he was the one who got Hartman's wife on uh, 
like uh, addicted to drugs again or got her to relapse and that's the reason she uh, offed Hartman. Wait, wait, you, you know, um, Ooh, back to Opie and Anthony, you know that better than I do. Is there somebody on that show called Geraldo or Geraldo? Because he can't be talking about Geraldo Rivera. Oh, he's uh, not oh, dead. oh no, great, yeah, Greg Geraldo. Yeah, he he's he died like several years. It, that was like really fucking unexpected because I remember because I remember all these comedians. Like I originally saw them on uh, Tough Crowd with Colin Quinn back when that like because I remember watching that all the time. And uh, Geraldo Rivera wasn't he a news anchor or some shit way back when? Geraldo, he was the one who did the uh, uh, Al. Uh, Capella yeah. Alt, yeah, that was nothing in it. Oh. Yeah, but, but yeah, Greg Giraldo, yeah, he was another one who just he died unexpectedly, and it was just. I won't even I won't even bring up why the fuck I remember that, and it wasn't because of him, it was because of another movie that makes fun of that scene. Um, Marco, that's problematic. Don't mention my name on the stream. <laughs> what? Hey, everyone, it's uh, Johnny Cakes. Uh, <laughs> oh, hi there, hey, everyone. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, Jim. I see you have your uh, following. I mean, you it's obvious. I mean, you know, for as much as you rag on people for uh, advertising on V to get an <laughs> audience, like, you should, you seem to cater to the uh, the 4chan crowd. I mean, it's nice to see your talents haven't uh, gone to waste and you're still living in the uh, past. Well, I like to think I've, <laughs> I've moved on. Now, how's, how's your uh, sexual relationship with Jordan Haas? Has that affected, <laughs> has that affected traffic on Busy Street at all? Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, Jordan and I, we're, uh, we're still we're good buddies. We've reconnected. I mean, I know I previously said, unless he's a changed person, well, it turns out uh, he's uh, he sees eye-to-eye with me on a lot of things. And, uh, no, I'm know. surprised either of you see eye-to-eye with one of you always on your knee. <laughs> uh, yeah, how is life, uh, life on Crowded Sidewalk? Oh, that's uh, oh, that that that's funny. Gay jokes, Jim. Yeah, uh, very very. I'm typical. sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I know you're a famous filmmaker uh, that works at Best Buy. But, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to offend you, everyone. I'm very sorry. Oh no, no, no. Go ahead. It's just like, you know, words are <laughs> your words are like paper bullets. They don't they don't hit me. They just uh they just fall. <laughs> paper bullets. <laughs> the wind blows them away as you shoot them at me. All right, all right. None of things offense well, behind you, do you? Well, I th- I think this has been a fun stream. I think this this worked out. Uh, they seem to. Ver- uh, I think you got you got some fans out there, Andrew. They really like oh, Jesse yeah, and Alex. Yeah, I I saw a few that said like you know bring back ICFPD and like when I did the Uncle Paul, it's like oh Uncle Paul and so so yeah there's yeah this is did the Holocaust happen now? No, not <laughs> not all, it's all made up. No, France not, made it up just to piss Germany off. Was their they, whole made thing. they made it up to sell textbooks. Yeah, they found out actually the Diary of Anne Frank was written by like fourteen people. Uh, yeah, it's just like the Bible. <laughs> it's, it's like the Bible. It was just made up, and it's, yeah. it's all fake. It's just a. It's just like some weird fan fiction, I'd, I'd say. The world's uh, Anne Frank's us. diary is the world's worst fan fiction. Is that? <laughs> it's pretty much like. I remember one time we were in a Skype call, and some like Hashtag Jules had found, Jules had found this uh, Anne Frank uh, hentai fan fiction where like <laughs> Oprah was there, and she had a big, big black dick and a giant whip, and she forced I think Magoo <laughs> to fuck her. What? Yeah, we, Anne Frank for you. you know, I think that's the high point we're gonna end this on. That was that. I think <laughs> the high point. I, yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Nice All right. Well, uh, thanks to the chat for showing up. I uh, hope this was bearable. Hope the quality was better, and the uh, extra people made the. The stream go better. Uh, hopefully, the like Twitter thing worked out well. But I will have the next video up in uh, like three to four days. Three years, got it. Three, yeah, gym yeah, time. Really. It's like three years, three four years. But uh, take it easy, everybody, and we will see you later.